you guys left off having been uh, approached by a trio of uh, dark-skinned, pale-haired dwarven figures. Um, he claimed to have found himself five new stone miners, i.e. slaves, and suggested that we all take a sit down before we head on into the city. It was it was at your it was at this point that you could have elected to respond. He said something like, "Ah, yeah, let's all have a sit down." Oh yeah, we try to rest before then. Yeah, because you guys were about to try and take a rest because you heard mm -hmm. the, the the metal hammer swings. <clears throat> it felt a little bit like he wanted to enslave us, so I was a little concerned about sitting down or. It definitely doing feels just like that. Yes. Hmm. Easy. <clears throat> I'd prefer not to sit. Um, what is it that you have in mind? Oh, you don't sit to rest. I don't think we'll be doing very much resting with you around, honestly. Oh, well, I mean, eventually, yeah, but I mean, until you get the hammers, you should probably get all the rest you can. We are adventurers. I don't think we'll be getting hammers anytime soon. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, you can... You, you gonna learn. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Five wee barons lost in the mines thinking that they have any sorts of say. All right, all right. Well... Did he just call me wee? He did. He called you a wee bairn. Definitely taller than you, sir. <laughs> Yeah, but you're younger than me, and that makes you weaker. Thinking about turning into my bear form. I'm not in my right mind, so... <laughs> Wait, you still... Well, are we napping or are so we fighting? So, in my... I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my sword. Um, can I make a, uh, what is it, perception? So I can see, like, what they have and, like, what they're wearing? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I want to make sure before I we go in and they have, like, diamond armor. Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good <laughs> roll. You, uh, you take a long, hard look. Now, we are still in, abs in you know, in, like, abject darkness here. So you're looking at them in black and whites which really doesn't lend a lot of detail to you as their skin and hair colors are black and white. Um, you don't recognize the uh, the make of their armor, but it does look exceptionally well crafted. You are not certain what kind of metal it's made of, uh, nor do you recognize the style of hammer that rests in a, uh, in a, a, a kind of handled deal on their back. It doesn't glow or scream murder, so that's pretty much all you know. Okay. Hmm. Guys, I don't think we should. I think we should just listen to their order. You think they're, we should they're... just become? You think we should just become slaves? No, but really. Their equipment, uh, the wearing, it's. I've never seen it before. It looks. Okay. <laughs> so there's two options here, sir. Like Bard, there's two options, and you're choosing to. Uh... Be very bard like right now is all I'm saying. So <laughs> be very bard like. No, 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 no. There really are two options. There's either leave or fight. So I don't leave. know. Leave. Leave. They're right in front of us. I mean, no, they're in front of where we came from. We could always turn around, but they might chase. Realistically, they're actually like not in either of those directions. They came up from the darkness, which would have been like a wall to you guys. You could go, you could go forward, which is the south, which is probably where they're going to take you anyway, or backward the way you came. We are actually just passing through, and as adventurers, we're, we have a, a broader mission that we're trying to learn more about and find some sort of uh, resolution for, so... Oh, adventurers, yeah, 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 they swing the hammer a lot longer than most people. That sounds great, yeah, yeah, why don't we go inside? But we don't want to swing any hammers, sir. Is he, is he alone? 
No, there are three of them. That was like three, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, easy money. Easy. Okay. <laughs> I think it's we mm. just fought before, so I don't know. We don't want to cause any trouble. We're just trying to pass through and... She might not want to. We're taking your, your city. He's just kind of looking at you like, well, make a decision. We're just going to keep passing through. Thank you. And then I'm going to start walking toward, you know. Very direction. You're, you're going to walk towards the metal sounds? Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's, I'm just going to assume that there's structures beyond that, so. True. That That is a fact. <laughs> Red to go, if I might, uh, interject mm -hmm. I think our best um, plan of action would either be to um, destroy these three guys who think that we aren't anything I say very loudly or to leave considering they're probably going to try to take us to where you're heading right now <clears throat> I walk over to Cole and like take him to the side quietly sir Cole I'd rather not make enemies if we don't have to and Traditionally speaking, uh, if you murder three people, the entire town is going to perceive you as a threat, so... Well, it seems that the entire town might perceive us as their new workforce, um, based off of the only thing that we know about it being these three who seem to have no interest in our um, goals except our cooperation in their mining, so I'm, I'm a little skeptical. i to judge a book by its cover. I just... Don't want to assume that the entire town is like these three. I mean, they could just be very uh, gruff and tough and putting on this whole thing to deter incoming uh, people from going in, but it doesn't mean the entire place is like that. Listen, I trust your judgment. However, um, I don't know if this is the best choice. If you wish to go i will follow but know that do you understand and then whisper in his ear i whisper to cole hey do you have that invisibility you still have can you still use it i mean if i wish to but it wouldn't do as much good as a group right now i think if we just follow along we might be using invisibility to scope out where they're city is or how it looks because that equipment very unique well the issue the I issue is they're right in front of us Wait, what? so i don't okay here's the thing <laughs> just saying. they're looking at us right it's now they are looking at us if we just randomly all <laughs> whoop, they're probably going to know hey <laughs> but they're they can't see us we can just run they can't. They're just. They're having a conversation with us right now. Like, like he, they're oh, less yeah. than they're like maybe ten feet from the closest person of you. <laughs> you guys are like, oh, sh -sh -sh -sh, and they're like, hmm, oh, like, eh. <laughs> all I'm saying is that we we should either proceed or we should not. I understand if we don't want to fight, um, but it's not really an option of, you know, just proceeding forward without expecting repercussions. Oh, hard work will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> you do look old. Well, I mean, not as old as anyone here, but, you know, old for a human. Oh, I'm a fair bit old. Listen, now Grandad. tell me, lads, what do you um... know about the Queen of Air and Darkness? Oh, I, the Fey Queen, yeah. She can piss off. <clears throat> oh my! He, 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 you, for the first time, you all see uh, uh, Teddy's jaw shift to the side and kind of lock in place. He gets a little mad. Mm -hmm. Just a smidgey smidge. Oh. Hmm. I'm just gonna smile. Like and just hold on to my sword a little bit more. Like I, right, we might Cole's actually about be to doing get his wish over here. We're doing good. <laughs> hmm. So, 
Kind sirs, um, is this some sort of slave town? A slave town? No, it's a Dwergard town that happens to have slaves. And do they make up a large portion of the population? Uh, well, they do die a lot, so... I say, you know, from day to day, maybe like... 25 to 45%. And if we go with you or proceed into your town, are you going to try to enslave us? Why? And how can we stop that from happening? Ah, uh, well, I suppose you could kill yourselves right now. All right, there's <laughs> enough conversation. I'm, I'm going to take out my dagger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Should we roll initiative? <laughs> I mean, we're they, about to throw it out. They haven't initiated <laughs> combat, so you're some of you are okay. pulling out weapons, and they haven't. They actually haven't reached for theirs yet, because they honestly, they obviously don't think that they they're being threatened. I'm gonna take a step back, like while keeping my eyes, like on them mm -hmm. and just kind of like mm -hmm. nod to the group too. Yes. I take a, I take I a take step, step back, back as well. Okay. We're going to, all right, let's, well, I'll, I'll put us on the map then, I guess. We're going to find ourselves in a little bit of a fight. Oh, that's the map. Uh, the battle map. Here we go. All right. Get rid of these three dead people, or those three dead dogs, and let's get some dwarves. Did we already ask them if about the dogs? No. Okay. No. It's like a lab, you know? I don't, I don't know how much they I would be able to tell. Might be there. Like, not opposed to asking, yeah. That was a while ago, though. We've been walking for a second. Hmm. All right. As I said, they were 10 feet from the closest person. So they are here. This day. Ignore me. What? No, the chat. I, I actually... Oh, oh you need your languages. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, I will... I, I did I did say I would I let you arrange yourselves. So if you'd like to uh, realign yourselves, you can. Oh, I just got bigger. Yeah, just you were you were yeah. much too small for your square, so I fixed that. Is that where you are? Does everyone feel comfortable with their position? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm too fast. They can't hit me. Okay. Yes. <sighs> Duly noted. <laughs> All right. Until well, they do. Um, does anyone have anything else to say before we roll initiative? We might die. Sure? And that sounds like the DM is going to kill us. Are you <laughs> yeah. sure we don't want to just leave? Because, I mean, I'm just saying. That's what we were trying to do. And Very now we're trying we, we're trying to leave. We walked back and you see where we're at right now. Could we perhaps persuade you three to take on these unique rare coins to allow us passage? Couple, Who, um, what coins are these? Like one of them. Oh. Does, 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 the strange. I, I know what you mean. It, like, does does um, Resgale even have one of these unique coins? No, but I've seen Cole with his. So you, so you point at Cole's. Yeah. Dude, would you like one of his coins? Mm -hmm. I see. <laughs> okay. I'll pull it up. Um, you see him kind of squint. Oh, I, I'll be taking those. You'll be All right, come on then. Now, now, now your right. chances of uh, leaving are, are, are let's long it. gone. Let's roll initiative. All right. <laughs> let's get it rolling. Um, all right, so we've got the initiative tracker up this time. Before you click initiative, please click your token on the map. Nice. Good start from Rezagail. Good, 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 good. Better. Do it great, Corvia. <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> oh. Initiatives on the core page, top center. Jax. Nice. There it is. Ah, oh, yes, perfect. All right. Good, Good gap. Um, all right, I guess I will roll. Um, I they all get like 25. To... Good start. Oh, one. You guys are letting me down, by the way. I, I just <laughs> wanted to turn this invisible and run away. Okay, I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. That was my choice, too. We never even voted, though, so. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you got to vote during RP and they'll make it quick. All right. Oh, we're dead. All right, we're going to have a bi-weekly meeting in order to discuss whether or not we're going to attack these people who are very patiently sitting right here to understand whether right, or not now, we're going to do anything or we're going to be enslaved by them. Mr. Dwarfs, if you could just hold on a moment, we need to have a vote. Uh, all in favor of fleeing. Uh, uh, yes, the eyes have it. Uh, oh, it seems that the dwarves have murdered everyone. Shut up. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Cole. Um... The three dwarves pull their weapons. One holds an axe, one holds a large ha or one holds a two-handed axe, one holds a two-handed hammer, and one appears to be unarmed. Oh, they're chunky. Oh, they're <laughs> dual wielder. Oh, okay. Wow. We're in danger. All right. Uh, okay. Y'all did. Um, okay. So I will. Do I want to be a bear or a spider? Okay, since. Since spider, why is that an option? What, what do you mean? Why is it an option? Since she's next to me, I don't know. Why should be a spider? Since she's next to me, I get next to like the sneak attack, right? Only it's if a you're big spider. Spider. only if you have a friend oh. in melee. <laughs> you're like a tiny spider. So, so that they have to be engaging the target, not next to you. Um, I see. Yeah. Is all right. Well, however, I think you have some assassin bonuses as it's the first round of combat and they haven't acted. Isn't that correct? Ooh. Oh uh, yes, uh, that probably. is true. Yes. So at the very least, for I do. I remember the, them for Not this round. All. You should have some sort of boost, but I don't remember what it is. Okay. I will look. All right. Let me Wait. let me tab over to my DMs so James can complain about how how proactively I'm murdering them. Oh, uh, yes, good, <laughs> good. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Uh, so me out like that. I know, right? It Suppose I need it's a critical. Some spell lists. What? Sorry, if you hit what? You get a free crit or something. So basically, um, yeah, you added. have advantage on attack rolls. Yeah. And if you any hit you score against a creature that is surprised, well, not surprised, but like. Mm. Well, they're not surprised. They see. Right. Is yeah. it? Is this? Are those the surprise round ones, or is this? Let me. Go, I'll just go look. So you take an yeah, add please. on your attack roll, but you don't get the surprise critical hit. Alright, cool. Dun, 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 no, that's dun, not correct. Dun, dun, dun. You have advantage on attack rolls against any creature that has not taken a turn in combat yet. In addition, any hit you score against the creature... Oh, okay, no, they're separate. That is surprised. I see. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, right, it... yeah. Okay. You got it. Correct. Okay. I will... Um... I will attack the one... In the center with the hammer. You're gonna put yourself. You're gonna surround people. yourself. All right. Yeah. I was like, what? I will. I will shoot. Ah. Okay. <laughs> I will shoot <laughs> in with a uh, with a arrow. Okay. So, so you're just gonna be in the it, middle. Turn on the advantage toggle on the top right of your character right. sheet and hit your attack roll. All righty. Ooh. Get it? Got that crit anyway? Apparently. Um, now they haven't acted yet, so you do get sneak attack as well. Right. Which also doubles. Correct. Which also doubles, and we'll just do we'll just double multiplicatively out of laziness. Um, all right. So you do twelve plus eight, twenty points wow. to the hammer wielding dwarf. That's our leader right there, guys. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's, him. That's him, the leader. All right. Uh, that's I your... will use the yeah. Um, so can I try to hide? 
you're gonna have to go find somewhere to hide. So you're gonna have to like leave. And yes. Find... I, is there any? That's the thing. Is right, there so, anywhere like yeah, that I'll, I can I'll even... let you run your full movement, a solid thirty feet. Uh, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six here to find something to hide behind. That's so. Fun. Yeah, we really need okay. to work on our. That's fun. Okay. If, yeah, if that'll give me yeah. Let's say that our um, hypothetical arena is the green box. Um, all right, roll your stealth. Am I stealthy? Are you stealthy? Yes, very. Yes, <laughs> very all right. Oh, I, oh, I didn't mean to roll really yeah, I mean, it so the, yeah. the first one's still 23. First one? Yeah. Okay. Rolls are great today. Indeed. Okay. Mine too. Well, yeah, definitely. Cool. <laughs> <That's really good. laughs> All right. Dwarf C, which happens to be the unarmed one, is, uh, takes a look over at his pal, kind of laughs at him for getting shot so badly, <laughs> steps back a couple of feet. Uh oh. It's a magician, it's a magician dwarf. And... Can I turn into a bear yet? Or... No, no, only on your I'm turn. Sorry, not that yeah, yet. Okay. Yeah. okay. Let's see. Or, or a spider, I guess I haven't Yeah, decided. or a spider, your choice. I haven't decided yet. What is this, dude? What about that? Big no. giant reptile. I don't know. The spider has a poisonous bite and webbing. Yeah, but can it go through the armor? The bite can. I can just bite his face. Helmet? No, oh, no, 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 helmet. Okay. Uh, was it a touch spell? Probably is. Yeah. All right. So before backing up, when he's here, he uh looks over at his injured friend laughs, waves his hands about, infuses some magical goodness right in his palms, and then touches the hammer, which begins to glow with a uh, kind of silver gray energy. Then he steps back. Uh, Great. Buffer. Yes, I do not like that. Uh, Teddy. <clears throat> oh, I think it's time for some sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fairy fire. Okay. I have to roll some saves or something. Yep. Read. Uh, so thirty people took damage. All of them need to make deck saves. Yep. Uh, fourteen. Uh, do you have? Yeah, you do. So it'll be plus three. 13, and then you don't, so plus 2, 14. Alright, how's that? <clears throat> Did I make it? I hate all of them. Is it 13? <laughs> 13 is the number. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so none but of them are blinded, right. but they're not allowed to be invisible. And they all grant advantage. <sighs> okay, I'm... I already and know they, what happened. And they can't, they can't benefit from being invisible. They can't or we can't. Oh, no. Actually, this, 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 this isn't um, old fairy fire. I dodged. It's just you just made some pixie dust. Oh, oh crud. Affected creatures. None of my, none of my dudes are affected. Right, they, they have to make a, they have to fail it. Yeah. Right, it's not the, it's not the old one. Okay, right. never mind. All right, well, well I, this campaign's I, I, I throw some dust. All right. Uh, I, I will give you that, I will let them be not, not imme or not invisible. Because that seems like a thing that fairy fire should just do. But uh, none of them are advantage giving. Alrighty, okay. uh, do you want to move? Um, yeah, he'll he'll move back, and then uh, and he'll pull out his sun torch. Okay. 
uh, as a bonus, I will let you retrieve it, but you'll have to use uh, your next bonus or some other action to un unseal it. So normally, normally as a move, you can pull out an item that you have kind of hanging off of you. Oh, right. And then you can use your bonus to un unleash it, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So yeah, as part of your move, you back up, you yank out your sun torch and pull it out. They seem mildly annoyed. I will accept this. All right. You, you, you threw some bright sparkles at them, and now you're throwing bright lights at them. They're like, but why, though? <laughs> um, all right. Dwarf F's turn. Well, it seems that Rezagale is alone at the front, so I suppose she's the target of my attacks. Uh, Dwarf F r rushes forward. My initiative sucks. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> me too. Uh, okay. What are your options? You do these things, you do these things. Okay. You see him pull out his attack and, uh, or not his attack, his axe, rush at you, and, uh, swing. The 14 hit. Okay. Oh, wait. I, I forgot. Uh, oh, well, 15 also hits, so still good. Um, can you make me a strength save? <laughs> oh. That'll do. All right. Uh, you, can tell okay. he, you can tell he was aiming for your hands, and you've got a long cut on one of your forearms now, but whatever he was aiming for your hands for, you were strong enough to, uh, to ward off. Hmm. However, you do still take axe damage. Uh, is Great Axe even still a weapon? I think, I think they got rid of it. No, Great Axe is still a weapon, oh, yeah, so okay, it's yeah, cool, cool. E12 slashing. Cool. Yep. Twelve points of uh, slashing damage. And then he's gonna take a second attack. Twenty-five definitely hits. Uh, could you make me another strength save? You might die. <laughs> Uh, seven's not gonna cut it. You drop your dagger. Hmm. Good and, thing it was just the regular ass dagger. And take sixteen points of damage. Good night. Again, on top of the other. That's the second. Twelve hit. and sixteen. Twelve and sixteen. Good, good night. All right, That's I'm we'll officially yeah. out. Okay. Uh, after a, a success, a much more successful chop to the hands. Uh, it looks as though Rezagale is bleeding profusely from a couple of severed arteries and is unconscious on the ground. Um, do I want to use Second Wind and murder someone else this round? Nah, nah. Uh, <laughs> P. Okay, P's turn. Oh, well, this person's down. Uh, now you're lucky because I did already declare my intention to make you slaves, so I won't just kill you. So, you know, there's that. Because this is your first bout with intelligent enemies who know that they can kill people. Uh, bards look soft and squishy, so P's gonna rush forward mm. towards Corvia. As he does so, or maybe perhaps right before he leaves, you see him hold up a holy symbol uh, that you're not that you don't recognize to a or actually Corvette you probably do recognize um it's to a a god like an old old world god of the forge and uh he intones something in the uh in the dwarven language and then his already glowing hammer glows a little red in addition to glowing silvery gray Okay. Uh, Ten doesn't hit you, though, I assume. Mm. 
No. I have a uh, armor class of 13. Okay. So swing his second attack. 11 also doesn't cut it. Um, oh, I forgot his plus ones, but 11 and 12 still don't count. So, uh, P stands next to you, but has missed. His, his weapon still glows silver and red. Um, Corvia, you're up. Okay. Um, I can't pull up my skills. You but can't the pull them up? I'm refreshed. Uh, I was clicking it, but the UI didn't pop up. Oh, I'm gotcha. refresh on roll 20. Cool. Okay. I had a question. Yes. Before, um, can I move before I cast this spell? Yes. Okay, just want to make sure. Uh... I'm going to use Vicious Mockery level uh, on Cat Trip on the one in front of me, the P. On the hammer. <laughs> I'm just really excited uh -huh. that she's getting a sweater. Alright, uh, DC 15 whiz save on P for 3 Vicious Mockery damage. Unfortunately, you fail to mock him viciously. He just laughs at your pitiful attempts. Okay, and how many that a words can seven? I move? Yep, that's a plus 7. Yeah, that's a lot. Oh wait, actually, this is not the cleric. It'd still be plus five, which is still enough, but... Okay. How many spots can I move? Uh, six squares, but in doing so, he will take a free swing at you. Not necessarily hit you, but uh, he will swing. I'm gonna use... Uh, Bard Inspiration on Erinar. Okay. And then try to move out. So. All right, Aranar, you are inspired. Then he attempts to whack with a two on the dice. Corvia, the luckiest of all bitches. Ooh, the best bard. Should be a rogue. True. Now move here. Okay. Behind Aranar. All right. <laughs> uh, Aranar, you're up. Oh my God! Why would you move there? Okay. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to move. You want to choose one, please? Where, if I move, wait, what? This is five. Every five square each. is five, so you, you can move up to six squares. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Okay, so I'm gonna move here. Okay. And cast this guy. Now, you've read this, right? You know what this does. This does not yeah, make it... you all magically invisible. No, it's it silences, but it gives everyone it dex gives you a, save. It gives you or... stealth check bonuses. Assuming you guys were going to hide and run is the only reason you would cast this spell. Well, doesn't it help... Uh, knit, um... Sneak attack, you think? Yeah, the sneak, sneak attack thing. Will, does it, that help? It will help... Uh, but he's one Cole's not near you I to benefit really, from this spell. I don't really. Oh. Need okay, to. well that's why he I tried really to... need the help. I'm pretty okay. good at hiding. Then never mind. I'll do the other one. Okay. The moon one. What are you doing? The this one. The this one. Oh. <laughs> the... After it, I'm gonna just turn into a bear. Okay. Okay. I'll put myself back here and turn into a bear. All right. Hey. You... Um people with healing um hey <laughs> don't forget <laughs> somebody you know me now anyway i'm yeah i don't i my healing isn't gonna do shit for her really it's yeah it's exactly as I'm... powerful as everyone else's healing well i don't i don't know man yeah, i mean I'm not, I'm not saying you should i'm just saying like it like don't think it's any worse than anyone else's it's exactly the same i just feel like she passed out i mean if you want to be a bear be a bear she going can down. I can I heal her and then turn into a bear? Yes, but you were your turn would be over. 
like if you because you're as a moon druid you get to turn you get to transform and still have an action so you could transform and attack um or you could cast and then transform but not attack yeah so my i my idea is to transform and attack because they're probably going when they attack again is going to take all of my bear form hit points anyway and yeah. then i'll have <laughs> the opportunity to heal then maybe <laughs> so we'll do that um I'm gonna attack the. I'm gonna. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna bite the guy who is got the hammer. Who was already hit by um, Cole's attack, and then slash the guy or swipe the guy, claw the guy uh, who's next to. Ed. Resigale. So you want to step up here, kind of standing over Resigale, and attack yeah. those two? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. That? 25 that? definitely hits. So you bite the already injured hammer wielder for six. He grunts in pain. He starts bleeding for, through his thick armor, but he does not falter. <laughs> Rezagale, if you could roll me a death save. That'll do. That's one pass. Do uh, I have to do three? Yeah, you have to you have to succeed or fail three times. Uh I don't know, you don't roll more. Uh, That's next turn. So you fail next turn if you're if you're still down yeah. next turn. Uh yeah. Cole. I'm suspiciously eyeing mystical magic dude in the back. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that he's, you know, kind of chill. All right, I'm going to... How long can I shoot? Like, can I hit him? I don't know. Can you? How far, you mean? Yes. That's, yeah, I'm trying to see how far. <laughs> like, how long an arrow will go. Oh, sorry. How long your range is? I how got you. Mm. Oh, sorry. I'm just... What? What? I could have swore I said no. Oh, I missed up. Okay. Don't notify me of anything. Okay. I don't want it. How do I know that? Like range. Uh, Please. your the bow normally includes that in its description. Sixty foot cone. Yeah. So, All right. so if it's a short bow, it's sixty feet probably. Okay, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. I can easily hit him. There you go. Um, yeah, because, you know what? Nah. All right, you know, uh, logic. I'm going to just, <laughs> strategy, taking out a healer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shoot the guy with two, uh, with the hammer. Okay. And I should have also a sneak attack for that as well. Uh, yes, because the Baron are. Wait, the thing that um, Corvia did to me, what did that do? On your turn, if you need a, if you want to, again, Cole. Um, wow. If you're on your turn, if you, not if, if you roll and you want a little boost, you can use his inspiration to roll a bonus D6 and add that to your attack roll or something like that. Oh, Cole, shit. Cole for MVP, that's 30 damage. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Cole fucking wrecking things. He's like 50 damage this whole round. Uh, so it's 30 more. Yep, he is down. You, you're hitting the hammer guy, you said. Are you shooting the uh, the one in the back? You did the hammer uh, guy? Uh, no. Yeah, I'll okay. get the hammer guy. Minus 30. Yeah. Hey. Uh, he takes an arrow straight to the back. Looks to be having uh, quite the critical location. And he is, uh, and he crumples to the ground. Hits a knee and then falls to his, uh, falls face forward on his hammer. Yeah, and I'm going to hide again. I'm going to try. Go back to my corner. Alrighty. Yeah. But goodbye, guys. I'll see y'all next round. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Dwarf C. Oh, his friend is in trouble. Oh, no. Of course. He is so upset by this. Well, he was going to do something offensive, but he can't just let his buddy die. Two, mm -hmm. three, four, five. Roll up. 
throw out a big fat heel. Um, let's see, see heal, blah, 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 okay. 16 points. You see the Baronar and those of you who are not facing to the back, like everybody but Cole, if you were to look, you could see that uh, his eyes flutter open. And then he uses his last square of movement to get here. Hmm. Does he want to do any of that? Not really. What about these things? Do you want to do this? Nah. Okay. That's all fine. Uh, all right. Teddy, you're up. Okay, I'm going to hex the one who just got healed, and then I'm going to blast. Alrighty. Eldritch Blast. Blah. 21, you guys are rolling very well today. Wow. Um, are there any... What are the prone rules? Uh, prone creatures, movement, blah. Has disadvantage. Advantage if they are melee has disadvantage if ranged. So I need you to roll again. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> uh, I think that's gonna do it. Let me go make sure I read. Oops. Um, spelling is hard. And I'll penalize his strength. Gotcha. The fuck? How do you spell? Uh, oh, it's just called that now. This flat plus one. Yep, you get you meet. That's good for you. Uh, seven points, you say? No, that's the first one. First oh, roll right, damage. Thirteen points. That's good because you weren't gonna Third. you weren't gonna bring him back down without that. Minus 13. Yep. His eyes, once again, shutter closed. Um, as a sparkly, as a, as a sprinkle-filled blast of gray slams into his uh, prone figure. Uh, F, the axe wielder, sees that you guys are picking on his poor buddy P and is very upset about it. Um... Let me see what my other options are. I, I'm also going to take another five foot step back. Oh, good plan, turn. good plan. No, he doesn't need to do those. Okay. All right. Uh, he will head into battle against the bear. Here we go. Uh, where was I rolling this guy's stuff? Is he doing plus sevens? My attacks. Twenty-seven definitely is gonna hit a bear. Uh, twelve might not. Twelve, does twelve hit a bear? 
Uh, yeah, by one. <laughs> no. Oh, so, 2d12 plus four, plus eight. Low rolls this time. Only 16 points to the bear. Ow. Um, and he's not pleased that P is down, so he's gonna go ahead and, like, breathe. And he's like, and he's gonna do it again. 26 hits a bear. 25 hits a bear. Jeez. 15 wow. more points to the bear. With so some bear. low rolls. Uh, okay. He looks a little, he looks a little weathered. He looks a little worn. He, uh, you know, tired himself out a little bit with that, but, uh, I mean, obviously he's fine. He hasn't taken any damage. And then P needs to make a death save. Are those con saves or just flat D20s? It's a flat D20 that's with good. a 10 plus being right. a success. I know. All right. Well, that's one failure. Um, I wonder if I can mark that somehow. How, how do death saves work? You, once you are below zero, once you hit zero, you go into death saves unless you are at negative HP. Um, and while in death saves, you roll every, on at the start of your turn, you bleed some. And if you roll a death save, which is part of your sheet, it'll roll it for you. If you roll 10 to 20 or 10 to 19, uh, you succeed and you, you're one, you one step towards like stabilizing. If you roll one, uh, if you roll two to nine, you fail and you're one step towards death. If you roll one, you automatically fail twice. If you roll 20, you automatically stand up. Or do you automatically stand so, up? So with that being said, um, can we still attack him on the ground? Yeah, that's absolutely. All and yeah, if you, oh, if you okay. take, yeah. if you take um, a melee hit while unconscious, it's automatic crit, which is two failed saves, or a ranged hit, which is one failed save. Um, Say less. Okay, so he is down. You've got one failed save. Corvia. Okay. So I use my... What is it? Uh, Necklace of Vengeance and swear vengeance onto Dwarf P. Uh, okay. You've sworn vengeance. Yep. And then let's hope this doesn't miss, and I'll sh try to shoot him with a bow when he's on the ground. All right. Dwarf so you, P. So you roll with disadvantage. This is out. We'll disadvantage because he's prone. My bad. So you have to roll. Yeah. Roll. Just I roll again. We'll roll take. Again. Oh, never mind. You fumbled. It's a, it did, You don't. You don't need to roll again. You fumbled. No. Okay. Um. Now, since Baronar does happen to be in your way, and you did fumble, I'm gonna need you to uh, roll without like roll once without advantage. I could just heal her. So, so <laughs> yep. So normal. Yeah. Roll. Roll a, a regular. This is what I'm saying. Okay. Our strats. I'm like, <laughs> please. Six fortunately misses a bear, uh, so uh, it just kind of flies wide and clatters off the into the archer. far side of the room. Healing word on Resigale. Don't be telling people how I, to play. I, dude, I want okay. to kill that in. in... All right. Uh, and then I use. Bard inspiration on now. That's now. Baronar still has your inspiration and has not used it. I can't it. give another person. You, yeah, they can't stack up, or, or you, only okay. one person can. Have I was gonna one give it to. Once. Yeah, I was gonna give it to the baker. No, I mean you. You can give it to him, but Baronar will lose it. Oh, okay, so I'll just keep it. Okay, and then I'll step back like twice. All right, Baronar. You got two large axe wounds, but you're still a bear. Yeah, I wanted. I know what you wanted. Okay. Anyway, I'm really sorry, Rosigale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to do similar thing again where I bite and claw. Whatever. Bite and whatever. Which which one are you biting and clawing? Okay, so I... Which one? Which <laughs> one? <laughs> Calm down there, metagamers. Yes, I understand what you're saying. I, I'm going to... Wait, which one is better? All right, fine. I'll I'll stop. I'm gonna mm -hmm. bite, the bite the one on the ground and claw the one that's uh with the to my axe. this this one with the right right the axe one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Assuming you don't miss here, and you have advantage on the bite here because he's prone. 
So and see. then can I what do, what how do I use the inspiration? If you if you feel like you're not going to hit, you can say I want to use my inspiration. And then you'll roll a, a manual d6, and we'll add that to your number. Okay, I want to do that do on the if, the guy. You can actually wait until you've rolled. You can do it post roll oh, as, okay. as long as I haven't told you the result yet. Okay, so all right, so I'm gonna bite that guy and claw that guy, and then see. <laughs> Uh, fucking rolls today. Can I? Uh, well, I'm. I, yeah, the inspiration's only for if, if, if I'm gonna if, hit if him. You not were, the if you were gonna miss, which you're obviously okay. not going to. Okay. Never mind. Then. All right. So uh, bites on unconscious people are auto crits, which is two say two fails. So he is insta dead. And then ten slashing from a swipe to the fighter. Alrighty. Anything else? And then I would like to move backwards because there's... Oh, shit. No. I want to stay in front of Rezagail. Fuck. Okay. I'm staying in front of Rezagail. Okay. Good choice because I was definitely going to kill Rezagail. Yep. You, ki you killed one of my I think people. Vengeance, I'm definitely yeah, I think gonna your vengeance you. is going to come into play oh, here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Cole, you're up. Okay. Um... Uh, inconvenient. Am I allowed to snarl at Corvia and then look pointedly at Rezagale? Yes. If, it, <laughs> okay. if, it's, if it's something you do in character, it's no longer metagame. It's, it's like, it's you, Jax, telling oh, Jimmy no. something. That's the problem. In bear form, since you you probably can't understand what the right. hell I'm saying. She's gonna go rah rah rah. I got it. Rah rah rah. <laughs> rah rah rah. <laughs> Resigail. Then I look back at him and go rah rah rah. Okay. Cole. Good talk. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, how much damage did this guy? This guy does he look? Does the act? Does the hammer guy look hurt? The hammer guy is the dead one. Or on the is ground. he just chilling? Not the hammer guy, the, the other guy, one? the other like one with the weapon. Axe yeah. guy, axe guy looks. Actually, he, his armor is so heavy, you probably can't even tell he's injured. You did see, you All saw right, the bear so I'm not swipe him, and you know the the swipe connected. Right. All right. Well, I'm gonna shoot the closest thing to me because I feel like he's walking over my direction, and that concerns me. So, we're gonna aim for uh, no weapon guy. Okay. And that's gonna be. Damn, Breath of Life is a high-level spell now. All right, can't save my paladin. Yep. Yeah, I do damage. I'm just out here. Damn. All right, I'm gonna have to fucking nerf some bitches. Y'all roll <laughs> way too high. You don't even have that high bonus. Well, remember, you just, roll, you just rolled like 17 plus for the last for the entire fight. Yeah, literally every single time. Like I am. Yeah. Yep. You were you were 20, 20, and 18 here. I haven't I haven't really gotten anything under twenty in the last like couple of rounds. Yeah. All right. Uh, roll twenty. Roll twenty's decided to play some favorites. We'll see how this goes. Uh, okay, we were trying we were trying to kill us. It's fine. Yeah, it, it won't stay that way for long. You know it. Uh, all right. So you don't have sneak attack. Actually, no, you hid. So yeah, you do have sneak attack here. Mm -hmm. All right. So mm -hmm. seventeen to the unarmed cleric. Uh, he looks pissed off about it, and he was thinking about going to help his his friend, but he's getting real tired of you just popping out from behind some rocks. <laughs> he yeah, that's fine. Just walks directly at you. Your hide is hereby nullified. I and... can still move though, right? Oh yeah, it's still your turn. I thought you were done because you wanted to hide oh, yeah. behind that rock. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, uh here, yeah, here. Well, honestly, though, without meta, yeah, I probably will. Yeah, okay, I'll say I'll hide like, about that, the rocks. That that's thing. what I would do. Yeah. That's what I would do. Okay. Yeah. So he just fair. walks over until you can, you're no longer able to hide from him. Uh, can you make a wisdom saving throw? Uh, yeah, that's what I do. Oh shit! Not what I do. All right. Mm, I was gonna uh, say that's you. not usually what you do. <laughs> You, uh, you, you're hiding there, and you see him come around the corner, and you're holding your short bow, and you're like. <gasps> And that's where you stop. You just you're just standing there, and then he fit, uses the rest of his movement to go back. Um, 
um, Teddy. Um, I'm going to move my hex over onto um, the fighter. The fighter. Okay. And uh, throw damage at him. Do it. Twenty-one. All right. I will say we're doing this with a person down from the beginning too. Yep. Just think about that. Yeah. We, did. we would have tore them up. Yeah. Sure. Probably. I'm just that saying, fight you, is you, not you, over the, yet. Let's really die. Let's... What, two high <laughs> damage crits to the first turn of two rounds. Three. Three? Yeah. 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 You definitely would have tore them up. <laughs> We got lucky, y'all. You got real not, lucky. Let's not... And, and the, the fight's not even close to over. Yeah, let's not... Be yeah. How many times okay. can I call vengeance? Um, I don't know. What's your item one. Your, your item uh, says, yes. like, you can declare one vengeance, and then you can always have revenge when struck. Something like that. But I, I don't know I don't know what it says about, like, re, about moving vengeance once it's been satisfied and that, that might be the stipulation i think i remember that like you can only declare one vengeance but and it's stuck until that is satisfied is that right is that what it says uh i doesn't say let me go read it i have it like fully copied and pasted yeah i'm gonna go grab it uh, uh but it doesn't say if i can reactivate it yeah I, th I think i think i left that out because i didn't i didn't need it therefore it could be reactivated instantly um ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. Cannot be revoked or changed. Only ends when the blood of the sworn has been spilled by the bearer or either of the two dies. So yeah, you can declare it as an action. You can declare it immediately because as soon as he died, it fell off. Okay. Um, now, to be clear, swearing vengeance does it does not have a lot of combat effects except for that lethal blows thing mm -hmm. your your advantaged effect is the is the revenge attack yeah if i get hit if you get struck yeah yeah okay which you're the furthest away so you're probably not gonna get i dodged like four hits you did <laughs> i could not i could not roll above a six <laughs> to, to hit corvia all right, what are you doing? Uh, whose turn is it? Oh, it's Teddy blasted for 14. Yes, yep. uh, minus 14 to the fighter. Uh, Teddy, are you done? Teddy is done. Cool. Uh, the fighter blasted by sprinkle-filled cursed goo is looking real mad and is likely to take out his anger on the bear. Cool. Rolls one D twenty plus eight. Seventeen is definitely gonna hit a bear. How hurt does the bear look before I resolve this? Oh shit. Oh, sorry. Jax, are you watching football over here instead of playing Dungeons and Dragons? No, my roommate uh sent me a message. Uh she was like picking leaves off of one of her plants and she accidentally picked a leaf that turned out to be some sort of like winged uh, praying mantis. Oh shit! Oh, that was... that's cool. Yeah, it is really pretty. Oh, neat. I'm gonna share with the anyway. Is yeah, it... Sorry, continue. All right. How 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 hurt does the bear look? Uh, the, the bear has three points left before it is no longer a bear. So very hurt. Okay. <laughs> um, feeling pretty confident. He's gonna add one of his special dealies for another four that even though he already hit more importantly he's going to add that to his damage as well 20 or 1 to 12 plus four plus the four from his special thingy 19 damage to the bear from the first swing um so you take three and then you roll into regular hp 16 damage from actual arenar fantastic that's my favorite now you do uh when you fall out of this you do get to pick a square to land in since you're changing sizes which of these four squares do you want to be in Look. 
I want to be on top of Rosigale still. Okay, I was going to say, if you, if you picked one of the back ones, I was going to do you a kindness and say, I have to spend my second attack somewhere. Yeah, nope. I'm on, I'm on Rosigale. Okay. That's not getting people up. <laughs> you will attack now, no longer bear an R. Does a 12 hit you in your regular form? Your armor class? No, it doesn't. Nice. Uh, cool. Phew. Yeah, I have I have a higher armor class as myself. Any regular person. <laughs> but, lower, but lower hit points. True. Very true. Uh, okay. He is... He's gonna step up a little and then end his turn. Uh, he is dead, so I can actually just remove him from initiative. Thank freaking God, though. Uh, Corvia. Did we hit? We hit Dwarf F, right? Yes, F took, uh, has taken damage twice now. I'm gonna healing ward Rezagiel. Ah. Good. Rezagiel. It's alright. Your health, your, your wounds close for eight points. Yeah. I don't have anything else. I think that's it. Heal and that's end. Uh, I don't think I have you, any bonus. You can shoot your bow. Oh, okay. That, 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 I didn't know it counted. He healing, healing word is a bonus action. Cure wounds is the the regular action oh, spell. Oh, okay. Can you do both? Can you do? No, you can only cast one spell per turn. Okay. That's okay. Right. So I'm gonna try to shoot dwarf. Uh, it's one, two. It's too far. Dwarf F. Okay. Oh. Is this uh, regular or this? Uh, Please don't. It, it is not advantage. It's regular. If that's what you're asking. Yeah. All right. Roll a one. Kill Aranor. Oh, Kill Resigale. Damn it, you just uh, messed no. up. I'm so bad, I'm <laughs> I'm just gonna sell my ball. Look, someone's gotta soak up all the bad luck, because apparently the rest of your party <laughs> is eating the good luck for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, Aranar. You can see that- you can see Rezagale stirring below your feet. You might want to move, or she'll have to move- one of you has to move during your turns. Um, I'll- I'll move... whoa. Oh, uh, she okay. had. You can't hear anything, so. Yeah, no, I know. Um, I I will move. I'm trying to like here, I guess. And I will cast. Okay. This. On the dwarf right next to us. And it's only it only takes a five. Where the where is it? It only does a five. I just want to make sure I'm doing this correctly. It says it only does a five foot radius, so it should only hit his square. Right? No, five foot radius, which means it hits a nine square cube. So therefore, I'd have to throw it kind of behind him? Yes. Okay, so actually I'll go here and then throw it in this spot right here. What are you, so what are you casting? Moonbeam. Ah, Moonbeam, yes, okay. Because that should still hit him, right? Correct. Okay. It just won't be a direct hit. Hey, which, which doesn't matter at all in this in the spell's case. So, you are casting Moonbeam here. Damn, that is not that... The uh, The advantage of Moonbeam is it's, con it's damage over time. Every turn it hits if you can keep them in the zone. Okay. Um... Let me go look up the moonbeam save. I think it's dex. Uh, con save. That's con. Uh, yeah, it's... Con uh, save for half. It okay. takes a 2d... yeah. 24 is plenty, so he'll take 4 points. as the burning light of the moon slams down from nowhere. Now, you know, I guess you guys are aware of moonlight. You, you do see it on occasion through the shafts. Yeah, makes sense. Um, too bad we're not in sun cult land or you'd be cast out as a sinner for casting the spell. True. Mm -hmm. uh, that you have a move and a bonus action. Would you like to do anything? 
Uh, what can I do with my bonus action? Normally you could shapeshift, but that was your second bear for the day, so nothing. Yeah. Um, which dwarf is that one again? Is that F? F, F, F is yeah. the one that you're moonbeaming, yes. Oh, damn it. Okay, well, she is moving. I'm going to step back now. I'm going to take a swing at you if you step back. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to step back. Okay. I'm just going to stand here. And hope not to die. All right. And hope not to die. Good plan. Uh, Resigale, you feel as though you spent ages unconscious and actively bleeding to death, but finally you are awake once more. Your wounds have sort of closed, and you are conscious but prone. What are you doing? You're muted. Also muted. Oh, Mike's muted. I don't know why it didn't work when I pressed it. Okay. Um... Let's see. This is the... That's the one that's the one, uh, that's that's the one that's closest to me. Um, it's half your movement to stand, if you'd like to do that. Okay. I'll stand. Okay. And then I'm gonna... Can I run to the back somewhere? Uh, you can, but remember your oh, your weapon is also your weapon is also on the ground. Oof. Um, well, yeah. Is only weapon? No, you could now you could just leave that dagger there. You have others. Um, right. You could, if you're not going to take an action, you can take the withdraw or whatever it's called, um, which gives you, which makes it so that he can't swing at you when you run away. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Um, actually, as a rogue, you can take that. You can do that as a bonus action and swing. So you could take action and then run. Yeah. Um, but yeah. you got, but you don't have a weapon, so you'd like you could like punch him, then run away if you wanted to. Hmm. Um. I don't want to punch him. I just, just want to run away. All right. So. so you take the. I don't think it's called withdraw anymore. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't have anything like that. It's, it's in your it's in your level two rogue feature thingy, um, that lets you do those three things as a bonus. But anyways, you do that. Uh, you've got half your move left, so you can move three squares. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna move over here. Can I do that? Like one, two, and then over one. Uh, all diagonals are diagonals still count as five, so you can do whatever you want. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Okay. Um, as part of that move, you can pull out a second, a new dagger if you'd like. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull out one of my dragon daggers. Cool. Um, all righty. Cole. You are currently. <gasps> and you're going to try and. You're going to try and. Toughen up your mental and make a new wisdom save and shake it off. Success. Returning to his amazing roles, he uh, shakes off whatever had left. frozen him in in in, uh, in state. But unfortunately, Momentary. unfortunately, that's his whole turn. So Momentary. dwarf C turn. Sorry about that. I forgot that you guys couldn't see the map on stream. There you go. Uh, take the bear off over here. Alrighty. Uh, Dwarf C is less than pleased. He where is this spell? Waves his hands about intones his god and a large jet black spectral hammer uh, floats into the air from his hands I do not like this Sam I am I do not like giant hammers floating above me and heads toward no longer Baranar. Kapar. 
Do, do, do. Melee spell attack. Okay. Twelve does not hit. No longer Baronar. Just slightly, uh, slightly below again. My dudes cannot roll for shit today. And he will scoot up in this direction. Teddy. All right. Teddy backs up over here. Coward! Yeah, I'm an old man. What do you want to do about it? You're young compared to me. Well, I've lived a thousand more lifetimes than you have. You ain't lived shit, boy. Ha! Ah, his taunts worked. <laughs> as I as I blast wide over the uh, fighter. Yep, a whiff, blasting over the fighter. Uh, the fighter's turn. He doesn't want to be in this moonbeam of death. So he's just gonna scooch over between you two. So. Haha. <laughs> and uh, he's not a fan of this person that he murdered getting back up, so he's gonna try and fix that problem. Fumbles. Uh, let's see if he drops his axe. No. Second attack. 26 definitely hits for Rezagail. For another minimum roll, five points. This is some bullshit. All my rolls are garbage. Um, Corvia. Thank okay. you, roll 20 god. Uh, I'm gonna healing ward again on Rezagil. Okay. Another eight. Excellent rolls when it's not with your short bow. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna try to <laughs> shoot him. And I'm probably gonna miss. Dwarf F. Okay. Oh, 19. Man. Here we Does go. Not miss. Let's go. A good roll. Easy. Three. It's not a lot of damage. It damage all adds up. But look, you hit him. It all adds up. up. Uh, anything else? We'd like to move, Corvia. Uh, right here. Cool. Uh, Aranar. Now you can you can move the moonbeam. You still have the inspiration too. You do still have inspiration, yes. Um, so you can, if you want, you can burn your action, your attack, to move the beam, and force him to save and take damage again. So, um, like, if that was your choice, you could move yourself. Uh, it's like five feet. You could like move to here, and then move the beam over him if you wanted. Gotcha. Um. Yeah, I was gonna say, could I, could I move again? Yeah. Um, is there can? How do? Um, how far can I move to, for my first? You can move up to six squares, but leaving melee range gets you attacked. So, if I move here, is that that's still in melee range, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so I'm moved there. Does a threat? Does a spectral weapon? Does a spiritual weapon get to make attacks of opportunity? It does not. Damn it. And then move my moon. How, how do you, oh, can I move that? Or you have to move that? The moonbeam, I'll do that. Where do you want okay. it? On him? On him. Does that count as my cast? I'm still yes. casting that, that's that, your, right? That's your action. So it would take your, your attack, essentially. And... Uh, can I herbalism kit myself? That doesn't that's count as That's also an a... action. Dang it. Okay. All right, so he will roll uh, a new con save. Yeah. Uh, five. Ha! You're garbage. No stupid moonbeams. Take four damage as he saves again. Do uh, I have to? Did I have to re-roll the damage again, or is it the same mm, damage? Same damage. Okay. 
It's the same beam. Um. Alrighty. Uh, Rezagale. You were almost dead again, and now you're even more alive than you were last time. Oh god. Uh, oh Jesus. Plug your, plug your mic. Okay. I, I even even the dog it. heard it. <laughs> Audi 500. No, mine did it. Muted. We'll see. So, hey, now you're good. So good. All right, good, good. It did it to me, and I could hear it the first time, so I unplugged it. I see. And then I couldn't hear it that second time, but you guys could. So okay. I don't know what the hell's going on. Right. Also, I need to move it, so brace yourselves. Moving the cord. I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we're good for now. For um. I really don't know what's going on. Like the cord looks completely fine. It's not like next to anything else. I'm Mystery. lost. Um. Anyway, yes. Let's see. Um. <laughs> I I can't see my character. Uh, I think that's because you're on top. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna just take out my other dragon dagger. Okay. And then I run for this guy and try to attack him. All right. Okay. 22 definitely hits. You get to roll sneak attack damage. All right. Big rolls. Welcome back. <laughs> Uh, I was already brainstorming over here. New character time. <laughs> yep, exactly. All right. Uh, anything else? Um, no. I don't want to move and provoke t attack of opportunity. So. Okay. Um. I actually, you know, okay. That's right. You it's know, you fine. can still. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Um. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that I was frozen. So. <sighs> Actually, does it, okay. Does the guy in the random beam that's coming from the sky look hurt? I gauge all my attacks off. Oh, I kill oh him? yes, yes. The the person, the the fighter ha is is proactively bleeding through his armor now. Easy money. All right, we're yeah. That's the target. Is it though? <laughs> yes. I'm gonna have to walk. Oh, that's so far. No, I don't have to. He doesn't have to be shooting. What? Is it more than oh, sixty? Yeah. Nah, nah, I can hit him. Yeah, you're fine. Ooh. Got a 10 age, not fine. Were you, were, you, were you amazed by the ruler? Whoa. Yes. I was excited by that. <laughs> <laughs> so, do I still get sneak attack because he's close to yes. Alex? You have to be within 30 feet of your target. Oh, you do? You nope. get, you're going to scoot up 10 oh. feet and out of cover then. Or that. <laughs> Well, that's not gonna hit it. Yeah. Finally got a bad roll. So, would you have scooted up for a sneak attack damage? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. All right, so for going, I think I would have just shot from where I was. But you still shoot. Now, I need you to uh, first I need you to roll a one d two to see who you might hit, and then I need you to roll another attack roll. All right, so you will hit Aaron R if this attack strikes. 
Wait, you didn't oh. actually roll. You just you skipped the you put a space between the D and the two. And it just prints uh, it out one. one. Yeah. Roll. One D two. Alright, so you'll hit res again. Uh, yeah. Now roll an attack roll. Okay. There isn't a range limit in the in five E. Oh, really? I've forgotten that. Alright. Well, you, then, you just have to be within your first range inc increment of your weapon. Right, right. You can't be in the disadvantage range. <laughs> right. And we're back to my crit. Resigate. Oh, if you, uh, you, you unexpectedly receive a short bow arrow pretty deep into the shoulder. Luckily, you had been healed twice. I think you're still standing. Okay. Yes, I would have three points of health left. Good, good, so. good. Yes. Still alive. That's what matters. Probably. To dwarf F comes All up. Right. Um, Why are you guys attacking the? Oh my god! <laughs> Nothing. It's fine. Nothing. No. That's right. It's fine. Have to. Um, with that being said, bonus action. Can I attack him? Um, no. Nope. You could. You could if you were dual wielding daggers. Sad. Or right. if you had, or if you were like dual wielding hand crossbows. Uh, but the bonus action secondary attack is a dual wielding op um, action. But I can move? You can move, yes. Hello. Okay. Uh, being less than pleased about your current location, he still sends his spiritual weapon up to continue its assault. Uh, now, I'm pretty sure Rezigail looks way more injured, so it's going to attack her. Okay, I think he was plus seven. Eight. Seven, yeah, seven. There's a 12 hit Rezigail. Damn it. I've been rolling 12s to miss for like the entire fucking fight. This is some bullshit. Um, and then he's gonna try and see if he can't put the glare back onto Cole. Cole, can you make that wisdom save again? <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna cut it. You're like, <gasps> I hate you. I know. I hate everything about <laughs> And since you frozen. are frozen, he's just gonna move way the fuck over here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, Teddy. Uh, continuing on the fighter. Someday I will roll successful hits. Ha <laughs> ha! Teddy also failed. I, I am just, I, I have now started sucking. Good. Fucking getting murdered over here. Anything else you'd like to do? Um, nothing, no spells I can cast with my bonus action. Um,. See if there's anything else. Okay. Nope, we're good. Turn. Cool. Uh, Teddy will actually move over here. All seeing right. the, seeing the armored guy start moving around. The cleric. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Alrighty, fighter comes up. Once again, um, Erinard, do you even have a weapon? I have a club and a bow. Right, but are you holding them? No, I okay. am not holding them. All right, so you don't, you don't threaten him at all. He doesn't care. He doesn't, you can't hit him. He's going to scoot all the way around to get away from all this moonbeam nonsense. Oh, hello, everyone. And then... How how hurt does Erinar look? Uh, I mean, she's kind of hurt. Are you under? Are you under half? Oh, I'm under half. Yeah. Okay, so pretty yeah. hurt. Does he think? Maybe he's thinking he can kill both of you. Let's see. So he'll swing at Erinar. Jeez. Sixteen hit Erinar. Oh uh, yeah, sixteen okay. does hit Erinar. He's gonna, he's gonna throw in a sweeping attack. For another eight. Uh, good, 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 good. 
would hit damage equal to okay cool um resgale you take eight damage and aaron are you take seven just barely standing nice but i believe fantastic. resgale's not i'm i'm back down good good second attack towards aaron R. of course fumbles uh does he drop his axe he does he drops his axe okay um he looks real pissed but at least he downed resigale again i guess uh corvia okay, i'm gonna walk up to resigale behind her and use uh cure wound are you gonna walk okay yeah i have to be close to touch it and it's a... all right roll and i will use I'll are call you, Vengeance. Are you keeping track of your up. spell slots? Yeah, I have one more left. Cool. All right, so six points, Corvia, and you're calling Vengeance on Fighter F, on uh, Fighter. Fighter. Yep. Yeah. And I'll use. Can I switch out to my dagger and then try to stab it? Uh, as part of your move, you could have, but you'd have to have dropped your short bow on the ground. Okay. Yeah, I'll drop the short bow. Okay. And then cool. pull out my dagger. Pull out a dagger and try to stab. I hope it doesn't miss. 19. And we got it. That's just enough. Six points. All right. Fucking high ass roll. Like, this dude has a huge AC. Like, really high. And you guys are just like, I'm just going to roll 15 pluses. No big deal. <laughs> we, we either roll twos. We all roll under five or over 15. Like nobody's rolling yeah. in the average range. And it's just murder. And that's my turn. Okay. Alrighty, uh, he's like he he almost staggers to the ground, but he looks like he's barely hanging on. Uh, Aranar. Is that did he? How much did he heal? What was it? You don't know. Heal six. Okay. You don't know. Okay. Uh, you, saw, you saw some of her wounds close. That's what you see. Okay. He did heal her. I just was making sure he. Healed yes, he did. He did heal at Resigil. Uh, okay. I was just curious can i do our can't or can trips and action as well most of them yes okay never mind i'm going to now you can you oh, can oh. skip the moonbeam you can like like you release the moonbeam if you want to do something else yeah i'm gonna do something i'm gonna have to release the moonbeam no, um, in fact you don't even have to release it technically you just don't move it okay and then i'm going to Ice knife this guy. What? No, you can't. Nope, don't. No. Nope. 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 I'm not going to cure my own wounds. I'm going to ice knife this guy. Okay. Uh, I believe you have to make an attack roll, and it's probably in your sheet already. Yeah. I think it's only a level one, so. Mm-hmm. I'm, uh, I'm well aware, James. 19 what? hits, though. That's good. That's great. That's what? good. That's good. What is it? What's wrong? Nothing, what? nothing at the moment. Um, let me just, let me just, uh, hold on. I need, uh, let's see. I need, uh, Fighter, Teddy, Aranar, Resigale, and Corvia all to make deck saves as the ice knife explodes. It's an oh. AoE. It's an AoE. Too. I, for, I forgot yeah. that it was an AoE. It's an AoE. Thought... That's why I was like, I... yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I was like, uh. Uh huh. I totally oh, yes. forgot. I'm you so got sorry. a team kill. All right. Okay. This is the person, the people who have been shooting us all game. <laughs> Not this game. I missed. Happens once, past the justice file. It's fine. So far, I'm the only one who, me and Resigale are the only ones who haven't had to make an attack roll against allies, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, I killed myself, so. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Oh. Alright, uh, has everyone made their saves? All five of them? Okay, everyone who failed, which for Resigale, or for Aranar, is a, um, 11. Everyone went below an 11 on their deck save. 
Uh, so Aranar, Rezagale, and Teddy. So all of you but Corvia um, takes seven cold damage from the explosion. And yeah. Rezagale's back down. Rezagale's back <laughs> down as she gets hit for exactly how much she was healed for. I'm so sorry. Um, now, thankfully, uh, while he would have dodged the explosion, he was already dead due to the ice knife. Yes, vengeance. So he's actually at one, technically he's downed and took an auto failed save from the ice, from the explosion damage. Actually, no, those are separate. There's technically the same effect. So as part of the deal, no, no, he's just down. No, no failed saves. Uh, he's not dead. I, I thought I swore vengeance. He has to die. He's 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 oh. unconscious and bleeding out. Okay, so, yeah, so like if, if you and if you you with your vengeance passive thingy, if you just if you poke him for any damage, he just instantly dies. Um, okay. But anyone else has to actually like kill him through the saves. Okay, um, so it hits zero. It doesn't go in the negatives if it over. No, no, no. He, he, like zero or negatives is is down and bleeding, but you didn't do the damage. If you oh. down someone, instant death. Okay. Um, all right, that was Aranar. Aranar just brought Rezagale back down. Pow. And, uh, Rezagale. Make a new death save. You did get to reset at least, so there's, you know, there's that. What was that about, uh, talk about team killing Aranar? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have a talk <laughs> yeah, with myself but... too. True. I'm already reading my spells before I do them. Yeah, all right, uh, that's a pass. Good news for Rezagale. Cole. Still stuck. A wisdom save to get out of the... Yes, wisdom oh, save to nice. break free. Again, he only loses one you. turn. Uh, I hate you. Yeah. I know you do. <laughs> uh, yes, Dark Hale. If, if he had, if he somehow managed to bring himself to zero, mm -hmm. he would insta-kill himself. Oh, wait, no, no, because that, that's a vengeance passive. He hasn't sworn vengeance on himself. It's one of the item features that he's got. So that, which he could. I mean, he could ruin half vengeance. of his item and, just, and swear <laughs> vengeance on himself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, Dwarf C. Seeing his buddy down and bleeding, he's gonna throw out... Oh, no, actually, he can't healing word if he wants to use his weapon. And he really wants to get vengeance for his dead paladin friend. So we're going to roll advantaged attack on Resigale. 2d20. 19 or 17 would have hit Resigale. So Resigale, you got two fails. Uh, there's no uh, way I'm, no no I'm going to do enough damage to get her to negative, so I'm not even going to bother rolling it. And with his action... Does he want to cast a spell? Maybe I'll just kill Rezagale. Do I have any spells that will just murder Rezagale? Uh, what do I got? Clerics do not have a lot of damage in their spell list. Oh yeah, first level spells. Um, they that'd, really don't. That'd be a disadvantaged roll. He doesn't want to do that, really. That'll probably be it. Yeah. Uh, Rizgo, would you make me a uh, wisdom saving throw? Damn it. All right, he pulls out a small bell, rings it loud as hell, but apparently it does not find Rezagale's bleeding corpse to, to make a murder. Uh, he continues to move around the party. You can only run so far. Yep. Uh, Teddy. So the, the the downed dwarf has his axe at my feet. I pick up the axe and I smack him with it. Okay. Does a 17 hit his AC? You bastard. Uh, no, actually, it doesn't. <laughs> you, you can't pierce his armor. So he, Seriously? Oh, yeah, he's got a 19. Wow. Huh. He's wearing full, he's wearing full, uh, enhanced full plate. 
Th th nice. this, like if you finish this encounter, this is me giving you very expensive armor. But uh, yeah, he's got 19. So, oh. so like, I mean, technically you hit him, it just doesn't pierce, you know, like clang doesn't make it through. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, anything else? Uh, and then I'm gonna put. I'm gonna move myself between him and the cleric. All right. Uh, actually, I don't think you have a move. Didn't you have to use it to get his axe? Uh, you can spend a certain amount of movement like to half, pick items up. Move to grab an item. Yeah, it's like half your movement to okay. pick an item cool. up off the ground. All right. So you scooch over there. Good plan. Good plan. Uh, the fighter makes a death save. He's at one fail at the moment. Uh, two fails. Okay. All right. So um, they fail, he's fully gone. Yeah, if he, if he fails again or if anyone hits him, he just dies. Uh, Corvia. Okay, I'm going to use Healing Ward on Rezagil. So it's a bonus. All right. And then, and then I'm out. The last healing. of his first level spells, seven yep. healing points. And I'm going to try to stab Dwarf F. And this is advantage. Correct. Advantage because melee. Dagger. Please what? hit. Twenty one's gonna do it. That'll that'll down dwarf okay. F. And that'll be it. Oh, okay. Actually, yeah, that'll be it. I won't move. Alrighty. Uh, dwarf F is dead. Out of initiative. Uh, Aranar. Uh, I knocked myself out with uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. So why don't you go? Why don't you go ahead and make yourself a death save? <laughs> And I was gonna ask, how do I do that? Uh, so there's <laughs> right in the center of your sheet. There's a box that says death saves. If you click death save, it will roll for you. I could have yielded. And you could have. Yeah, it's I didn't okay. know she was down though. She's right fine, the... probably. Don't roll a one. Right in the center of the core page, center column near the middle, maybe above, maybe above the attacks, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's next to the hit dice box. Yeah. You you click on the words. Oh, right there. Yep. Yeah. I see it. Thank you. A failure. A failure. So you, you so click one of the one of the bubbles in the in the failure call section. Okay. Uh, Resigale, you are once again awake. You you roll over. You do spot that the person who keeps murdering you is unconscious and dead. You have to unmute if you want to tell me what you're doing. Hey. Safe. Is it okay? Safe. Okay. Um, okay. Presumably you spend half your movement to stand. Yep, exactly. Um, yeah, I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna run in the opposite direction of that guy. I'm not going to attack. Um, All right, she uses her fancy rogue feature just to be super safe and flees yeah, in wherever. terror. Sorry, I grabbed you. Go ahead and move yourself. Yeah, no, it's fine. I was gonna say, don't stand in the moonbeam. That's true. Did you move around the moonbeam or through the or moon through beam? <laughs> I'm gonna move around the moonbeam. All right, good plan. <laughs> good plan. Just gonna put that out there. Okay. Uh, Cole, you have once again unfrozen. Death comes for us all. All right. You soonest. I'm going to just stroll. Right there. Oh, yeah, that's true, Dark Hell. The moonbeam did vanish when Dark when Aranard went down. Because you can't concentrate. All right. Can I stab him? Uh, yeah. You can put your bow, put your bow away and pull out your dagger or short sword. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Can I pull out the um, dragon uh, dagger? Yeah. Fifteen, unfortunately, not enough to pierce the armor. Can I swing again? Uh, did you pull out both your weapons? Yes. All right. Then yes, as a bonus action, you can swing again. You don't get to add. You don't add your dex to the damage of this one. You, like you just roll and we'll subtract the dex. Twenty-four, plenty. 
Max roll, minus four for dex, so seven points of damage. Minus seven. All right. A good jab to your uh, spellcasting aggressor. He's not pleased. In fact, you might even say he's displeased. Now, I believe I need to make a concentration check for my spiritual weapon. Uh, nope, not concentration. Cool. He, uh, sees the downed Aranar and would really like to get some vengeance before he himself dies. So, once again, he's going to try and murder one of these party mapes. And, uh, Aranar, what's your AC at the moment? Wait, what? What's that? What is your AC? Your armor class? Uh... Is Th it... Oh, 13? the... It's 12. Wait, it's 12? Yeah, it's I've been 12. swinging at you for 12 for a Wait, long he's time. Been 12. Yeah. And you've been saying no. Oh, that's because I thought it's you had to 12. hit. You, you were hit... so dead. <laughs> I thought you had to hit above 12. No, I need to meet your the the number. Oh. All right. So, so he definitely hits because this is like th these are both of these are at plus five. So 11 plus five is 16. Uh, mm. He deals an inconsequential amount of damage, but more importantly, two failed death saves. So uh, my guy dies. You're dead. SGG? SGG. She did. Boy. As the oh. great spiritual hammer crunches down, crushing Aranar's skull. You guys killed me, and I killed me. You, you definitely killed me. yourself here. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> um, okay. Dwarf C now feels accomplished and can die with honor. Uh... He does want to make things harder for spellcasters, though, so he steps up to Teddy and ends his turn. Oh, wait, no, that was his bonus, actually. I guess he could act. Uh, he'll heal himself. For 13. Uh, Teddy. Uh, bonus action, I move my curse over to the... <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, axe in hand. I flank with uh, Cole. We don't run flanking rules, but that's certainly fine. Okay. Wee! A lovely five. Maybe you should uh, go back to blasting, huh? Probably, but if I'm going to be at disadvantage anyway. That's fair. Uh, anything else? Uh, bonus, move, standard. Nope. Off we go. All right. Corvia. Um, you see your, your companion lying gruesomely crushed skull and the remaining foe still standing. What are you up to? Could she, have, could she have inspired or bardic inspired the death save? Is that a thing? I don't know. Maybe. But if it was, then I'd still deny her that for lying to me about her armor class. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Because it says. Well, I didn't know. Control, yeah, you so. didn't. But he, he also fair. didn't know that I was dead. Or, like, uh. Yeah, I didn't down. know she was down. I could have healed her. Yeah. Then... Which is his fault for not paying attention. Up. Yeah, I was gonna say that's on him because yeah, he, you, definitely, I, you definitely said that you had three HP and that you were down. Unfortunate. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna try to use a uh, vicious mockery. I hope it doesn't. Miss it. Okay. Viciously mock. Uh, 15 wisdom save from the cleric. He's good at those. 20's plenty. No, no mockery of viciousness. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, might as well gonna inspire move. somebody now since your original yeah. inspiration is dead. Yeah, I'll move and inspire Cole. All right, Cole, you're feeling inspired. Uh, two left. Uh, go ahead and take Aranar out of initiative. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Resgale. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to use my short bow. I'm assuming eight doesn't hit. Eight definitely does not hit. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything else. Okay. I'm just gonna stay over here and hope nobody comes for me. Alrighty. Uh, Cole. Yeah, you already know what's going on. I do know. We're gonna, yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna, gonna, gonna miss just, you know. twice, and then we're gonna drop our dash. Uh, then we're gonna run Bardic Inspiration if we miss twice. It doesn't matter. You roll one, you help know. You. <laughs> you know, we don't roll one to you. Uh huh. Except when you shoot Aranar. <laughs> you definitely didn't. Nah, definitely we don't roll, roll one. Twenty. All right, go ahead and roll your second one. Oh, and roll sneak attack for both because you've got uh, your buddy in, oh. in range. Sneak attack for, for one. one. Yeah, sorry, sorry. yeah. Uh, so yeah, you're done. Eight, fourteen, done. twenty-one points. Good thing he healed himself. Mm, still alive, dang it. Definitely still alive. In fact, he's only just now starting to bleed through his armor. No dex on the second attack, that? right? Uh, oh yes, correct. So minus four. Ah, only two. I get to plus four. Isn't. <laughs> Good reminder to James. If we had inspiration points, James would get one, but we don't, so get fucked. Uh, Dwarf C. That's me. Um, he's feeling pretty uh, pretty pressured now, but he already knows he's dying with honor. So all he really wants to do is take someone with him. Um, Aaron, are you still... Or no, Rezigo, you still look pretty fucked up, don't you? Yeah? I thought so. Uh, Theodore's bleeding some, too. I have How's, one. How, yeah, but are you are you bleeding profusely, like Resigale obviously is? Uh, I'm I'm down a third of my hit points. A, a third? That's that's not one hit point. So two third. Whatever, two thirds. Still not one. Okay. Scooch is over. Attempts to down Resigale. See his spell bonus. Is four plus three is seven. Thirteen hits Resigale. Yeah, Rezagil's unconscious. All right, doesn't matter what the damage is. Uh, cool, Rezagil, back down. If only if I can survive for another round, I might get to kill a second character. Uh, let's see. He's got a standard. He could pull out his weapon, I guess. Seems like a lot of work though. He might just keep healing himself and try and tank it out till he can kill Rezagil. All right. Uh, how many more seconds do I have? Let me go. Count. Uh, Probably a four or five more rounds. Oh, no, I'm talking about uh, second level spells. Sorry. Um, oh, okay. Because I already used that. I guess I could burn my third level spell. I, th I forgot Revivify is the new Breath of Life, and I could have definitely raised that Paladin up, but, but oh well. Oh, yeah. Well, if he had 300 gold of... Uh, from a dwarven mining city? I imagine he does. I mean, fair. Um, let's see, because I already burnt my other the third shadows are burning. Right. <laughs> are you opening your oh, satchel? Oh, yes, book? it's time. Yes, the, he's, he's considering it. The, in fact, the book is trying to open itself to rescue its owner. <laughs> I forgot about this spell. You guys are trying finally around me. Um... He, he calls oh, upon his god one. once more, and uh, several, in fact, a burst of like black, black and red, like blood diamonds and black and like chocolate oh, no. diamonds, burst forth from the holy symbol and start to whirl in a terrifying array of death. Um, enters the area for the first time or starts its turn there. Does that mean I get to hit twice? Surely that'd be a little overpowered. Yeah, you usually yeah. when you, when you cast it, it starts on their next turn. Right, because you're, you're not. You, this doesn't count as entering. You are in it, and your turn will start here. Okay, right. so so let's save time. I need both Cole and Teddy to make wisdom saves. Maybe. Um, he's got a plus four, and he's on plus three proficiency. 
I hit meet his DC then. Which is good enough. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, because it's eight plus the number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, cool. So you, but Cole is going to take 3d8 necrotic damage. 17 to Cole, who hasn't been damaged yet, so it's feeling fine. Is it save or is there half damage? Save, yeah, save for half. So you take um, 8 necrotic. Oof. I'm not looking good. Not looking good, but still standing. Um, and he doesn't want to move because he's feeling like he doesn't want to get AO'd. So, Teddy, you are up. All right, we're going to try this with this axe one more time. And then I'm stepping out of the death ring. How, how big is the zone? Uh, or was it just a one-off? You talking about the Spirit Guardians for zone? Oh, snap. Okay. Yeah, this, Spirit, is, Guardians. this is Spirit Guardians. Um, it's um, a 15 foot zone around him. Okay. So I miss with the axe. And uh, I'm going to provoke an AOP as I try to run away. Cool. He will. Oh, no, he doesn't have his weapon out. I keep, I keep saying he doesn't take it out. Um, oh, actually, and at that range, I also need Corvia to make that same save. Wisdom save, Corvia. Oh, okay. Seventeen necrotic damage, Corvia. You can swear vengeance. You finally got hit by something. Oh yeah, no, I'm not swearing vengeance. Not, I might you, die. You can, you but can declare. The you blessing. can declare vengeful blessing. Yeah, okay. so I'll use the bless. Yeah. All right. Um, you left. You're good. Anything else, Theo? Uh, nope. I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna die. All right, Corvia, you started your turn. You got ripped apart by those uh, those spectral gems. Now what? Okay, so I use I use healing ward as a level two spell. Yeah, you can do that on Rezagil. All right. Would you like to step out of the terrifying gem zone? Yeah. Okay. I just, uh, if I pick up my bow, half the distance, right? Correct. So, and then I can still shoot, right, with it? Uh, it yes, because healing words a, a bonus. So, and Resigal, okay, so you just healed for 13. I'll pick up the bow, uh, move back, and fit far, and try to aim and shoot cleric. Okay. And at advantage. Yes, because of your declared blessing. Mm -hmm. Eighteen's gonna do it. Three points. Your blessing falls off. He takes three more. Um, Corvia is done. Resgale, you once again wake up. <laughs> you feel as though the uh, your your body is starting to really ache uh, from the repeated mortal wounding it's taken yeah after the no combat point. after the combat ends you will have an exhaustion point if you're alive yes. but I, will, I won't i won't afflict you with that until it's over um i'm going to stand okay um Um, okay, so I want to use what strength I have. I know, it's like quite a bit. You're, um, you're still in shoot range if you want to use your bow. Yeah, I, I was thinking I could use the bow or I could try to get closer. Um, fuck it, let's just use a bow. That's good. Four points plus sneak attack because Cole's in range. Yeah. 10 points total. He's Does looking, he uh, like he's looking pretty bad. He's, uh, he's not as heavily armored nor as hardy as his pals were. Uh, anything else, Rizigail? Um, I'm gonna move up here. Okay. Cole, let's see if you can end this before I get to attack Rizigail one more time before I die. Yeah, um, stab, stab. Both the daggers? Not yet. 
you're still inspired, so. You are still inspired, yes. Mm -hmm. Aha! Uh, <laughs> why don't you roll that d20 to see if you drop this dagger? We're looking for like an eight and below to drop the dagger. Yep, you fumble oh. this dagger. You like you slip on his blood, and end up dropping the dagger. Uh, you still have your offhand dagger. <laughs> the aura hits every time it's his turn. The aura hits that when you start your turn. I just did it. To, I just did it to all of you to save time. So if you okay. only if your turn starts here. Okay. No. 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 Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna try to stab him again. Then. Okay. You, you're p pending running away instead. Good swing. I was thinking about it. Okay. Uh, fifteen. Unfortunately, not gonna cut it just by a hair. Fire. You have the inspiration. Please. If you can roll a two here, you got it. Let's roll. Uh, 1d6. Like, you just roll, yeah, a manual 1d6. That's it. All right, six more points, and you do get sneak attack. Or not six, because of minus deck. So two points plus sneak attack. All right, nine points. Good sneak attack roll. He is down. He's down. He's down. Finally. Ah. Uh, not technically dead if you guys wanted to do anything with that knowledge, but he is unconscious and bleeding out. So Spirit Guardians is gone? The Spirit Guardians yeah, falls off. And that thing around him, is it still there? No, the the axe and the spiritual weapon, or the, the Spirit okay. Guardians, the aura, and the spiritual weapon. Well, actually, the spiritual weapon technically still stands because it's not a concentration effect. I, don't, I mean, I guess because you're unconscious. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It, doesn't, it can't do anything even at work. Yeah. Unless he gets back up. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to kill him with the axe. All right. Uh, Dorsey starts his turn. He makes, a, he makes a, a death save. Fails. So if you hit, then he dies. Make your advantage. <laughs> roll me a d20 to see if you throw the axe on accident. I, it, well, I rolled a three and a two. Oh, right, it's advantage. Yeah, yeah, of course. Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I rolled a three and a oh, two. Yeah, it wasn't a fumble. Um, okay, I'm okay, I didn't roll a right. one. So, yeah, you, so, you, like, you, so, you, you also slip on the blood and it's just like ineffectually tink and nothing happens. I, I nearly tossed the axe. Yes. Uh, Corvia. All right. I'm going to try to angle myself better so I don't hit my teammates. Maybe around here. Okay. Or here. All right. I believe in you. And. I would try to short bow, hope, but, uh, yeah, short bow. Okay. Actually, didn't you have to drop your short bow a while back? I picked it up, remember? Yes, yes, okay. All right, 23 right definitely hits. Ah, uh, oh, but it's disadvantage due to him being prone. Sorry, you're going to have to roll again. Oh, yeah. So just roll, roll the regular attack uh, again, and we'll take whatever the worst is. No, we'll take the first one of this. 21, still good. He dies. Actually, no. He did, it's not auto crits from range. He's he's had two failed saves. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> so still. Uh, okay, still. Cool. I'm, I'm gonna try to short bow this dude again. Okay. Seventeen, 17 is fine, uh, but okay. it's a, but it's disadvantage because he's prone. Try and roll again. God. Do I roll with disadvantage? No, it does, no, it does, this one, just anything is fine. We'll take whatever. Uh, 19 is better, so yeah, 17. I, I now see. he's dead. Okay. He I, sure, is dead. I thought I was giving you guys the opportunity to capture someone, but y'all are like, no, no. murder! No. no. No, we have to do this with no. honor. He killed Baron, no. Okay, all right. No. Um, no. combat comes to a close. You, uh, the adrenaline starts to rapidly just kind of piss out of you. Uh, Rezigail sits down. She is exhausted from having been on death's door so many times. Uh, and your eyes, of course, you're, you know, as the fight comes to a close, you're looking at your enemies, but as it's over and that adrenaline just drains out like the blood in your face, your eyes are drawn to the crushed skull of your ally. Teddy faints. Teddy faints. I feel like I'm just gonna fall over. Go to sleep. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Rosigail also exhaustion. effectively faints. Yeah. <sighs> 
so cool it's me in the park. Yeah. <laughs> Probably just gonna kind of sit down and rest for a bit after a long battle. <laughs> All right. Corvia <laughs> takes oh, a seat. Just gonna sit down. <laughs> I'm just even a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play my fine. flute, just depressing about Aaron and I. I'm just you. staring at her crushed skull. Corvia, sit, Corvia sits down, pulls out his flute, and begins right, a, right a dirge. Right here, right next to her. I making a song for her. We. Will, will you stop playing? We don't know where we are. We're in the middle of a dark tunnel. We don't know where they came from. We have unconscious people here, and you're gonna play songs. You're gonna draw attention to us. We need a song and there's a song porch laying on the dark. floor. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Now is not the time to process. We need to. We need to rest. We need to get somewhere that is safe. Yeah, I think two of us are resting really well. <laughs> so, to, okay, so can we can we drag carry? Him? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Drag him. Or I like know I can. Him? I think I can. Can Bard? My strength's high. You can. I have a really high yeah, he, remember, remember, despite being despite playing kind of wimpy class, he actually rolled exceptionally on all of his stats. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember. Yeah. I remember now. Um. Uh, well, let's take a moment and look at what these guys had, yeah, and then right. we can decide what to do after that, because the others need to apparently rest for a moment. I just don't want to be here too long, just in case anybody comes. I'm gonna loot and with that, I'm going to start going. I'm going to start making my rounds and checking out uh, what everybody has. Right? For looting? Um... Yeah, well, so like looting is a thing you can do just to say you do. Investigations, like if you're trying to find something they have hidden on their person or like a hidden treasure hole or something like that. Okay, yeah, I want to investigate. They're two separate things, though, right? They are two separate. Yeah, you say you can just say I loot the bodies and I will say this is what you find. Yeah. And if you say, like, oh. did they have anything like hidden in their boots? I'd say roll investigation. Okay, okay. so. So you can you get a loot first? Let's... Yeah, I'll loot the guy that's right in front of me still. Right. Like, so I'll go to the cleric first and okay. um, just loot. So the cleric has um, half plate, which is uh, the highest armor class medium armor. Um, that's what I wear, right? I don't know what you wear. Or I'm not light. Okay, you probably light. Know. I think most, you're light. Most rogues are light armor wearers because they're so high dex. You wouldn't get as much. You would get. You would lose a lot of benefit from your dexterity for wearing half plate. Um. So, uh, he wears, he has half plate, he has a holy symbol to a god that only Corvia recognizes. Um, he carries a bag of coins, but they're not made of a metal that you're familiar with, and it's not the unfamiliar metal that you that you have either. Um, he has a, uh, a morning star that he never drew, and a component pouch for his spells. Um, the fighter and paladin both have plus one full plate, which nobody in your party wears, but is exceptionally wow. expensive. Um, if you could find, if you could carry it, it's very heavy and find some place to sell it. You would have a lot of money. Um, now, right, you, let's say that. Now, now I see, Lee, you don't know it's magical. You just know that they have extremely finely crafted, dwarven styled full plate armor. When Teddy wakes up to... and ritual detect magic, you will he know. know? Yes. Well, you'll know that you'll know it's enhanced in some way. It doesn't technically have to be plus one. Right. I'll do, I'll go ahead and okay. would you care if I just rolled no, Arcana check right now? Yeah, okay, go ahead. Uh, yeah, you, you can assume the the fifteen will get you the plus one, and you can assume they're both the same. Um, right. So they both have, they both carry plus one full plate. Um, the uh, the axes the axe and the pa hammer are not magical; they're just very finely crafted. They'd be worth double the mundane weapons price um, if they you know if they could be sold with uh, you know like a kind um, merchant of some kind. Um, the paladin also has a very limited spell component pouch and a holy symbol. The fighter has um, has more weapons, like he has like three short swords, uh, a couple of daggers, and his great axe. Um, but they're all regular weaponry; they're not necessarily fancy in any way. 
Um, and they, both of them also have a small sack of coins from that unfamiliar metal. Uh, in total, they carry, between the three of them, uh, say 300 of the coins in like mixed in mixed weights. Um, but whatever, what the conversion is, you'll have to learn some other time. <sighs> what to do? Okay, um, I'm gonna investigate the paladin. Okay. Roll investigation. And Corby, if you were gonna do the same, go ahead. Yeah. No. And no. Okay. That's we'll, we'll cover all three corpses here. Um, you don't find anything hidden in any of their, you know, on their persons. Okay. Okay, cool. So what are you gonna grab? All right, so. So, so the the problem oh, every here. Year. Are you... well, the problem here is that you already are carrying most of your weight in dragon pieces, and if you wanted to do anything kind with your friend's corpse, that's an amount of weight, and the full plate is heavy. What was the, the what the cleric had? That the half plate. Know? Oh, the symbol. That's just the, the, symbol. the symbol of a dwarven god. Like it's just, okay. That's the thing you recognize. Everyone else is just like, that's obviously a holy symbol, but to who, they don't know. Only you know that. Okay. Hmm. Well, we so have to make a decision. Like... We can't put weight on anybody else, right? If they're so just laying there. If you, like, if you didn't plan to go quickly or silently, you could make a dragging apparatus that would let you carry basically everything, but it would be very loud and slow. What's the max uh, weight thing again? Strength um, times 15? Yeah, it's like 15 or some shit. I don't know. Uh, so I have 195. How much, how heavy are the plates? I want to see if I can carry one. Half, half plate, the cleric's armor is 40 pounds. Uh, full plate is 65. Now, both of these are dwarven makes, so they are extra heavy. So, half plate is 80. Uh, full plate is uh, 130. Uh, you cannot Cause, carry it at all. Because they're made by they're made for the extremely sturdy dwarven races who are basically immune to being encumbered. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Can I investigate the... Like, does it seem like... Like, are we just in the middle of a path? You are just, like, yeah, you're, 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 is, in a wide, you're in a wide tunnel that just, that was on its way to those metal sounds up ahead, which are still there. That hasn't stopped. Um, given right. that they carry, actually, why don't, why don't everyone who's awake, so I guess the two of you, why don't you both make me an intelligence check? Just to, to get a little freebie knowledge. Um, Corvia, it's, it occurs to you that the, that, you know, like it, you're reminded that you're still very close to danger. Uh, Cole, it occurs to you that these people probably weren't just randomly here. They were probably guards. That's why they're not carrying a lot of excess stuff because they plan to go home. Um, it also means that in an amount, in, in like a shortish amount of, in a number of like single digit number of hours, there will be a shift change. Right. Of course. Um, We gotta go. Yeah, you, which one do you want to carry? <laughs> how, how do we want to take you? anything? Okay, so because the thing is, okay, at the end of the day, we're not leaving Bear Lady here. Um, we gotta figure out. I'm not, I refuse. So, you want to take a although she was not my. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, she's not decapitated. Oh, it's, yeah, it's just crushed. crushed. Yeah, we can't really what are we gonna do with the body and i don't think we can carry both three people and try to do so you want us to leave it here are you suggesting we leave the fallen cop uh you're what asleep else? are you awake hello no, you're, you're, <laughs> is he awake there's no there's no sleep questions going on here they're here sleeping? okay <laughs> um i don't know if i can carry a dead body and another person i don't think i'm strong enough i mean you could wake these two up they're not in a coma Oh, I thought they were. No, oh, I thought no, no, they they was. voluntarily passed out, oh, okay. effectively. All right, so you want to try Which to is wake understandable up considering. right the bacon? I'll try to wake up Resigil. 
Um, no, I'll, I'll wake up ready to go. <laughs> how, how come? <laughs> and I'll just walk over. Okay. All right. Um, Teddy, you are you you're voluntarily asleep, so you can wake up if you think you would. Resigale, you're exhausted out and and out. I'm gonna need you to make a pretty a relatively easy Constitution save to be awakened. Yeah, Ted, Teddy will get up after that. Okay. Uh, Resigale doesn't rouse. Actually, I needed that eight. So, so she, she's not moving. She's, she's obviously awake, but you slap her around a little, and she's out. Uh, Resigale, right. Resigale will sleep All for right. a short so rest uh, amount of time, whether she gets enough rest or not. So Resigale's asleep for the next hour. Can she be carried during that hour? Of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. um so team, uh, team meeting. Uh, all on me. <laughs> Quick huddle. Yep. What's up? Hello. Um. So there are some things on the paladin that I think you might find interesting. Um. If you want to go look at that also more importantly what are we going to do with um bear lady's uh corpse I I, you know uh to answer your now awakeful question um the soil is loose enough that you might be able to bury you don't know how deep it is uh pull out book mold earth um or yeah mold earth and i'll try to see how deep of a pit i can make it would be a shallow grave. Um, you can move maybe three feet if you try. Like if you're, if, if Teddy's willing to spend time, he can move Mold Earth a bunch of times till he finds the deepest spot. Otherwise, it's probably going to be two feet. Okay, he'll he'll probably do that and like he'll pick random spots around the room to try to figure out where the All deepest right. area could be. Teddy spends a, a couple of minutes and finds a spot that's deep-ish uh, that that would partially conceal a body since three feet's really just enough that there's going to be an obvious hump all right well um why don't we put them up against the wall and i can hide the dwarf bodies and he can give an a uh, proper grave before we do that normally i would just throw the bodies in the in the yeah. mosque farms but I don't think there's a reason to really hide these because I, I think that they are guards so someone's going to come and look for them and when they don't find them they will probably notice that something strange has happened more importantly do you want to keep anything that they have on them I don't think we can carry much more that's what me and Corvio were discussing but is there anything that in your opinion worth taking let me see. Humna, 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 humna. Ten minutes past. Yep. Well, I think their armors are quite valuable. Uh, let's let's okay, see if we can get those two armors off of those two over there. The fighter and the paladin. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I can carry the fighter one. I'll carry the pa I'll carry the other one. I know it's going to weigh me down and probably hurt my back, but we should get going. Just... Oh, what, what if Cole carries? Maybe he can carry more than. Yeah, I can actually. Man. I can carry it. I can carry it, and it'll be fun. Yeah, why don't you carry Resigale, and we'll, we'll bury the bodies. Ah, uh, yes, I will actually carry okay. Resin. Cole, yes, you can't carry, carry shit. You are so. you are weighed down completely. You, that that was your very specific. Oh, you know what? Oh yes, that's right. Didn't I get rid of? Um, oh, the weapons are still weight, though, right? Yeah. Mm, no, you, Cole, Cole's very Does specific that directions carry? were carry as much dragon bits yes. as I can. As, oh oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I do remember. Oh, um. So does that stop me from carrying Rezigo? You can dragon. drag her. Let's see. Well, this is all very unfortunate. Um, I, I, what I'll yeah, do is I'll. Guys, if you, if you guys want to take anything, uh, that's on you. I have to drag. No, take the gold. undershirts off the dwarves and use it as a sling to help you get Resigale. Duly noted. <laughs> That's a good plan because I was definitely going to constantly do damage to Resigale as you drag. Yeah, that's her what I was thinking. <laughs> Yeah, it, I mean, at least, at least like with some cloth and leather, yeah, she won't take damage. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
So All I'll right. do that. And uh, with that, I think we need to get. Yeah, we need. We, to we need to go. go away. We need All to right. go. So we I'll, don't um, enter. So, so are we taking the armors? Uh, I can take the fighter one. You're gonna take one we are taking points. the armors. So um, how, how many of them and who's carrying them? Um, carrying the fighter's plate that you said it weighs like 100, right? 130. 130. Am I overcumbered? Oh, I am not overcumbered, Phil. Cool. So that's one, so that's one that. of the full plates is being uh, taken. Wow, I'm almost overcumbered, though. What about, is anyone taking the other full plate or the half plate? I am unable. Uh, I'll take the I'll take the other um, full plate. Okay, so we'll leave the half the plate behind. Uh, you two drag those, or you two carry those. The, the half plate was non-magical, right? Correct. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's those things. The, all the valuable objects, or the most valuable objects, at least, are being taken. Um, Resge will be dragged, meaning she will not rest properly, but she will at least wake up. Um, where are you going? Wait, do you, wait. Does he still have that axe that he picked up on him? Does that count as a weight? Yeah, axes have weight. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure you're overcome <laughs> with the axe weight. I mean, you can uh, drop the axe, it's not special. Yeah. So are you keeping the axe or are you dropping it? Uh, the baker. Teddy. Teddy? What? Oh, no, no. Teddy's probably not bringing along the enemy's axe. No, no, no. That was that yeah, was just a weapon to, oh, okay. to deny it uh, from the enemy and right. try to use it okay. while he was stuck in melee. Gotcha. All right, so let's, let's walk away. You guys down? Leave here. All right, so as fast as we can. So you buried Arinar. You did not bury yeah. the dwarves. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. You know, what benefit would come? Do you think if we buried them? Because I I asked I asked what's what, like what's the purpose? Like I didn't say no. I was just like I don't know if it'll somebody's gonna come and see them regardless, right? I think they're just gonna know they're missing and maybe try to travel out and try to find them and they're gonna encounter us. Maybe. Oh. Should we bury them? Yeah, I'll just put the bodies up against the wall. I'll cover them with dirt, and they can find them later. Okay. At least then it won't be uh, so obvious. All right. So you somewhat camouflage the bodies. Uh, the shift change will have to take some time to discover them, and mm -hmm. you leave. Oh wait! Right, before I leave, if we leave. I want to pour some of that dragon blood I had in my deer skin. Okay. Like maybe like one fourth of it onto like the cleric's body. Okay. And then we'll... you just you trying to like desecrate like what's the plan here? What's the point? I'm just trying to make it look like it wasn't humans. Oh okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Cool. 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 Um. All right. So you do that, and then you leave. Um. Where are you going? Do you have a plan? Or are we or are we returning to wanderer status? I. I want to rest. I need somewhere to sleep. I just, it's not that town. Okay. <laughs> like, desperately, I, uh, Fine. Oh. we're gonna die. Like, there's no way. <laughs> like, I don't, I mean, I don't know what else we could do. We <laughs> lost Aradar. We we're all very injured. Yeah. I mean, like, you are dragging a bleeding corpse. Or a bleeding living person, sorry. Um, and several of you are still proactively bleeding from open wounds. Mm -hmm. yeah, we we need to rest. And you are traveling into the labyrinth. Yes. Yeah. Will a short rest actually like fix? A short rest a gives you the that? opportunity to use your hit die to, to heal. So yes. All right. And I can use. And it's an hour. It's an hour. One hour. And yeah, but you can use song of rest. Song uh, of rest, which gives you a bonus d6. Okay, so after everything's been buried, I'm just gonna say, um, although I hate, I hate to stay here any longer than we have to. I think it's necessary for us to rest at least for a moment. So you're gonna rest here in this cavern, in like with the dead bodies, with the dead bodies. The well, because the only other option is the labyrinth, right? It's the labyrinth, which is uh, different but still very high danger. How long does short rest? An hour. Oh, okay. It's an hour. 
which is how long you, which is how long Resigail is going to be out as well. So even if, if you got attacked, she'd just be asleep. But in the lab, you, that's it, the that, issue. What if we counted the goblin? Well, I don't know the <laughs> like, goblin, but a magical creature. Yeah, that's that's the risk you're running right now. Yep. Depends if we think there if they had any buddies that would check on the bodies faster than rest and heal up then that's a good choice but we don't know how long it would take until they would search or if they were i think we just risk it we rest here and we hope i we agree hope and if if anything comes after us i'll stay behind and act as a distraction and let you all run towards the city okay so we're doing a short rest here okay you have elected to short rest in the guard room outside of the city. You have an hour. Dang it. Um, if you reach the end of this hour, of course you get to heal, you get to play the song of rest and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. If you get to reach the end of the hour. Now, <laughs> that means two different roles have to take place. One, to see how deep into the guard shift they were, to see when the shift change will come. And two, to see if any labyrinthine monsters wander into the area. Because that's the guard's actual job, is to beat back the monsters of the labyrinth. You guys just got unlucky. So are we rolling a, like a d12 and so a d100? So let's see, let's see whose problem it is. Who wants to be at fault when the party dies? I'll be at fault. All right. <laughs> so that's, that's the first roll. Now between... Uh, the other two who Under wants the to labyrinth. Okay. Uh, yeah, give me a D eight. Or actually, no, you know what? Give me a D four. Because it's not necessarily shift it's it's position change, not guard shift change. That's fair. So give me a D four, and if you roll a four, you're in the last hour and you're gonna get found. Alright. The guards are guards are more than an hour out. Um, roll me a D one hundred, Jimmy, and if you're below twenty five. Yes. All right, lucked out. The hour finishes. Everyone who is alive gets to can spend hit die if they like, including Resigil. Um, and everyone gets a bonus D6 if they did choose to spend hit die. Uh, where is hit die? You right know. in the center, right near death saves. Ah, okay. So three times? Not as sure. many as you have. So if you, like, if you, ha if you have the max, then it's, then it's probably three. Yeah. I healed up to max. Nice. But I'm out of hit dice. And then it's a bonus what? Uh, plus 1d6. I'm max too. Nice. Resigal, you rolled one too many times. Don't forget like 23 your, out of 20. Don't yeah, forget your 1d6, 1D6 Resigale. From the Song of Rest. Oh, there's a... Uh, right. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay. Uh, so everyone heals up. Um, now you, you get half of those back after a long rest, so it will take you uh, two days to get all of them. Um, the hour comes to a close. Resigail, you've awakened. You did actually get that sleep. You do drop your exhaustion point uh, because you were allowed to short rest without being dragged. And uh, everyone's feeling fine. I mean, low on resources, maybe, but fine. All right. Now that we're all awake and we feel better, we need to decide the next course of action. We need to run is my option away from the metal sounds that we hear so i did some thinking while we were resting no one knows that we were here no one knows what happened it's completely feasible that you know now that we're here we take the bodies, we dump them somewhere, and then we proceed into town like nothing happened. You can or, carry the body. They're kind of heavy. Or we can drag them. Or 
we just leave and we try to find somewhere else. But that is a group decision. Rezago, you have thoughts. I do have thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she's awake for the tenth time. Um. Well, I've G- died G-T-F-O. a lot. You're welcome uh, for the saves. I suppose thank you is an order. Um. Did I? Where's Aranar? Oh. Theo, if you would. Yes. Oh, fine, but... She... The Dwarga got to her. She had passed on before we could get to her. Oh, Oh, my. Well, then. That's... Extremely unfortunate, but I guess we must carry on. Yes. Oh wait, that's for the music. Uh-huh. Um, so, are we planning to try to go into that city then? I. That's what we're trying to decide. It's rocky want to do if it. they put it on us. Although no one knows anything besides us as of right now. When we were talking to them, I felt as though maybe the rest of their community might end up being the same as them. I'm concerned that that might be the case. So you're suggesting we leave? Uh, Yeah, I don't think we can. If we go in there. All right, let's once again traverse the wilderness, but. I don't like this option, but unfortunately I feel like it's that or death. I can't. Another fight like that for quite some time. Hero? Mr. Cupcakes? He's only a old age. I kind of agree with her. I don't know, that nearly that almost put me in the grave, too. I'm gonna be honest with you, I only got hit once. Um but I got hit pretty hard. <laughs> it wasn't a small yeah, one, too. though. <laughs> I got hit once. I got also. hit pretty hard as well, so I understand. Um, and the fact that we lost. Um... Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Let's just go. Yeah, we're leaving. So we all leave. Okay. Right. We're, we're leaving the, the city? We're, we're going the other way? Or are we yeah, going heading back into the lab? Away from the. Yeah, we're going into the lab. We're the going into the lab. Okay. Wasn't there a goblin somewhere in that labyrinth? A what? A goblin? I don't remember. Yeah. No, it was... It was that thing that I saw. I don't know. Oh, like you forgot. oh, yes, yes. The, that super attractive <laughs> goblin. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, I don't yeah. remember what you're talking about. Oh, you about. mean what goblin? The, the hideous thing that got us to move away from the wolves that we killed because it was hiding yes. something? Yes. Yeah, so, yes, yes, yes. yes. I think the battle mm-hmm. that you guys delusional, and I don't remember what we. I'm not delusional at all. <laughs> I know what I saw. Well, I'm gonna head Well, we can try to head back that way, but there, I don't know. I don't remember every turn that we took. Yeah, it would be a goose chase. Well, I don't know what a goose is. It would be a wild chase to find that particular route again. I think we just go. In my experience, you always end up somewhere. It is a labyrinth for a reason. Mm-hmm. So the labyrinth right. it is? Labyrinth it is. Okay. Yeah. 
Is it still loud? I don't know when you said that, Jimmy. Oh, no. It's good now. Just... Yeah, it was that way I turned it on. Yeah. Alrighty. Back to the regional map. Wait, not the regional map, sorry. The player map. The assistant to the regional map. Yes, the assistant to the regional map. <laughs> uh, somewhere in the labyrinth, after some down travels, there was, supposedly, a Dwergar city. I put it in text, you don't have to try. <laughs> okay. But I wanna. I know you do. <laughs> so you roll back into the labyrinth, risking life and limb on chance, rather than a uh, more structured, but potentially more dangerous option. Angry city? Especially if they find out we kill guards. Several of you have um, easily hiding abilities. It's true. You could always have masqueraded as slaves. Um, I did think about taking their clothes and trying to. Right. Like what? Two. Like um, one of you is a shapeshifter. You. One of you can cast the disguise self spell. Um, you could have tried a something like a play, like you two captured the other two kind of deal. There, are, there were options. But it wouldn't the height kind of be shown if they're dwarves? No, because uh, their shapeshift abilities allow them to change height within within oh. reason. Because dwarves aren't considered small; they're just short mediums. Okay. Unlike goblins, which are small, so you, you know, so you stand out that way. You can't change size categories, but within your category, you can be taller or smaller. Okay. Alrighty, we head back into the labyrinth leaving behind the shallowly buried Baronhar. This the, funeral music, though. The sad music <laughs> plays <laughs> as we, perhaps not in body, but in mind, limp into the, into the labyrinth in hopes of not sharing her fate in the darkness. We return to the Wanderer's life. We travel caverns, avoiding great dangers, perhaps taking advantage of minor dangers for excess food. Uh, I need one person to roll to navigate, two people to roll to hunt, and one person to roll to guard. Elect your rolls. What are we rolling? You'll find out hunt. when you pick a, a roll. Oh, I, I will hunt. I yeah, will hunt. guard. Okay. I'll track. Yeah. So the navigate, and then yeah, I guess me and the baker will. Hunt. All right, you and the baker are are hunting then. Okay. Um, navigator, roll me a survival check. Okay. Uh, hunters, roll me survival checks. Nice. Wow. Hey. Good job. Wow. Yeah. Doing Good well. Job. Um, guard, roll me a perception. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you do manage to avoid getting lost as you navigate the caverns. You turn around to return the way you went and find that um, while the immediate area is the same, one cavern deep from there has shifted. You are not traveling backwards anymore. Hmm. Your hunting finds success. You are able to find uh, several edible patches of moss or fungi, as well as some easy prey in a... Uh, a, like a meaty uh, burrowing mammal, you know, like a mole or something like that. Uh, however, you don't... I mean, not necessarily a bad thing, but you don't notice anything while on guard. 
while they're preparing they're capturing the food while she's looking for the right path you keep an eye out and you find nothing which is not necessarily bad nothing dangerous happens but you also don't find anything potentially beneficial if that was an option for you you travel until what you have to assume is nighttime and tiredness weighs upon the party Are you stopping to sleep in the labyrinth? I forgot we... I don't think Teddy picked up his son toy. I don't think he... Had. He did he pick up his son torch. Yeah, I mean, he never dropped his son torch, technically. I thought yeah. he, like, well, fainted. Shh, don't worry I mean, about he it. He did no drop way. it to the ground, but he, he picked it's, it up as he was leaving. Mark. He wouldn't leave. <laughs> We just lost we just lost a party, like chill out. Like we're I mean that is, that is one thing you did skip out on. You didn't you didn't loot Aranar, so her sun torch that... is in the in the hole. I thought What's about it, but I thought that would I be can... considering how strongly Back. she felt about um yeah. Yeah, I thought I did like, think I was like, I'm not mm -mm. Wait, she... what about my bow? You guys just left my bow. Also yeah. gone. Yeah. We we yeah. left all your gear with you. Yep. That brand but new, the never okay, used we, bow. Yeah. The thing. For for me, like I thought about this from Cole's perspective. You got mad because I literally like destroyed my pet dragon. So I felt like if I would have done any, I was like, mm -mm, no, like let's not play with that. I don't want to be hunted. Good character choice. I don't want to be hunted. <laughs> no. It takes ghost damage every turn. So um, I think we should. Rest, yes. Yeah. I think that's yep. beneficial. I think we're far in the way. Okay. Um everyone roll all four of you roll perception checks for your guard shifts. I can't find it. Uh, it's in the skills list. Skills. Sixteen on mine. Okay. There you go. I was blind. Alright. Um now I will roll, see if anything happens. It does. And whose fault, or whose shift is it? Ah, the one who can't see. Good. Ah, Perfect. Great. Um, <laughs> during the night, as Corvia takes the last shift in the darkness, the loss of his only recently joined companion weighs on his mind he knows that playing his instrument in the dark is dangerous so he chooses not to but he fingers you know like an inch away from the strings of his lute just to have that familiar comforting feel and loses himself in the music Pull up my charts. All righty. Oh, no, should have filtered better. Lazy. There we go. That's a good idea. Let's see if uh, you were followed. while we're just kind of sitting I just want to point out because I know you know this already that even with all of the uh, crits mm -hmm. and high rolls that we did mm, we uh we struggled there a little bit I swear, we, we, you, it, you okay D? 
It was you okay, Mr. Deal? To be we, we a, good? Oh, yeah, well, I'm fine. Way. It was designed to be a tough encounter. I was trying to get you into the city for the Dwergar city plot. Nicole was like, nah, After that, I don't want to go in. <laughs> Um. All right. Make a intelligence save, Corvia. Not bad. Um, I don't think that does it. Let me go to my page. Ooh. Um, roll me a 1d3, Corvia. Uh, one, two, three. Cole, you awaken in a jump of pain and agony as a dagger sinks into your shoulder into your gut um corvia's dagger damage is 1d4 plus 2 so corvia deals 2d4 plus 2 7 damage to the sleeping coal as 4 Dwergar, not nearly as well armored, but one more in number, escape or, or make their way out of the darkness. Um, one of them armored much more lightly in leathers, and more than likely the one who's been following your not hidden at all tracks for the last since you decided to leave. Uh, we'll stop there today. So he stabbed? He, yes, Corvia stabbed yeah. you. Okay. I misclicked. Yes, he misclicked. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> no, uh, Corvia, you felt a, you felt a, like a, 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 a pushing on your mind, and you saw an enemy in your camp, and you, you acted with haste. And ran to stab it yeah, before blinking and seeing that you had just stabbed Cole in the gut. Don't worry about it, but I got you next time. <laughs> oh, I can't There's heal you so now. <laughs> Maybe later. I'm just trying to survive at this point. <laughs> he, yes, he Nina, they 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 fought intelligent enemies near a city who they expected were guards. So the you know like the 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 big brain thing to do would have been like, oh shit. They might come after us and try and disguise their path in some way. Uh, okay. They did not do so, and I rolled to see if they, we could success if the Dwergar could successfully track, which they did. Oops. Hello. Too bad we don't have paths without a trace. True. True. If only. Um. Ready for the party wipe? Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, well, there we go. First death of the campaign. First death as a player. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, how do you feel? You feel accomplished? No, I'm, I'm actually... You went down like eight times? Yeah. Yeah, well, I stood over her body multiple times because somebody didn't freaking heal her. True. Fine. Because I, I could have anyway. stepped back and done things from afar, but I had to stay in the fight. It's fine. It's totally fine because I en en ended up blowing up everyone too as well. So we all made mistakes. Yeah. Rookie moves. Rookie moves. I mean, I did, did want to leave and not fight, but nobody wanted. I guess not. No, nah, we were down for it, but we, we walked backwards and they pulled out weapons, so it was like, well. Now, they didn't, they weren't the first ones to attack. 
you true. started it, Cole. You guys definitely started pulling your I weapons. Was... Now, you, I mean, you could have, like, like a fight was mostly unavoidable. You guys would have had to basically run for your lives. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. However. I was now, down to be a slave. It is, yeah, of course, you could have just elected to be a slave and then, you know, tried to escape later. Um, however, you did get most of a rest and while you didn't necessarily regain your hit points you do find that you feel like you know more about being whatever your class is so let's go ahead and level up to four aside mm. from gaining hit points like you can get your max hp goes up but your current stays at whatever it was before you okay. rested which i think most of you are max anyway but uh, but, but, like, but you don't go up to, but you don't go up yeah does all your spell thing come back if you level up if you only if you finish a rest no Okay. So, like, your spell... Uh, for, by the same rules, like, your spell slots increased, but you need to sleep to get them. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, if anyone wants to roll their hit points, now's a fine time. How does one do this again? Um, You can just roll whatever your hit die is, or you can even click the hit die number, and we'll take out the bonus if you want to do it that way. Actually, we don't even have to take out the bonus because that includes your plus con. So that's just your plus max HP. So just roll the hit die. Yeah, roll your hit die, and that'll be your whatever you gain to max. Yeah. Six to your max. There's a go. It's a whopping three. Nine for Corvia. <laughs> rolling like a boss as always. <laughs> I think Teddy's taking average, if I remember correctly, but I don't... I am taking average. That's what I figured. Alrighty. So, uh, next week, we will pick up with the second Dwergar encounter. Figure out whether you guys are going to get caught and enslaved, or if you can beat this group, then you'll, you'll you know, make it scot-free and have to go somewhere else. Um, depending on the results of that fight, will we'll tell us where we can pick up the new Jax character. Uh, if, if you get captured, you'll probably pick up a slave. If you don't, then we'll have to do some roles and see where your, char your, your, where your group's going to end up that you might be able to pick up a new adventurer. So, thanks for playing, players. Thanks for watching, watchers. It's been a blasty blast. We'll see the rest of you on Thursday uh, for those of you who are around for that game. Otherwise, next Sunday for this one, of course. Have a lovely rest of your Sunday. And we'll see you then. Goodbye. Goodbye.